Hi guys, welcome everyone. It is Saturday. <laughs> um, it's Saturday. I'm going live. It's my usual Saturday time. It's uh, 7.45. I was trying to come on a little bit earlier, but I was um, talking to a friend. I know. And now I'm eating actually really bad. I'm snacking. I have a few Pringles here and an avocado, half an avocado. I'm wondering if you guys can hear the crunch. I bet you can. <laughs> and I have so many cool things to show you. Fashion jewelry, new jewelry, silver, um, jars. If you want to get started in doing jewelry yourself, and I have a whole jar of that new stuff. N nice. Um, I have Valentine's stuff. I have silver, vintage. Yeah, but I'm eating a Pringles. Oh my gosh. How are you guys? Hi, Francis. And hello to the other person. I only have this much water. In my, it's actually about here, down in my mug. I'm not going to drink any more because I know if I drink a lot of water, I do have to use the restroom. <laughs> so, not going to drink as much. But I do have some really nice jewelry tonight. Um, the puppy is accompanying me, of course. I know Pringles are really potatoey tasting, like a fake potato taste, and the perfect like um, <laughs> the perfect like saltiness, I think. And then I have a half of a half of an avocado, which I'm I needed a spoon, but. Mmm. I love avocado. And they say you should only eat um, one quarter, no more than that. Too late. I've already done it. All right, so <clears throat> how is everyone today? It's a nice Saturday. Um, I think... Kim Webster's remembrance was going on t today. Um, I hope I was thinking hopefully it would be um, televised, but it wasn't, or that I could see. Um, it's been really kind of sad for me for that, but um, they do have a very fake test taste test. They are, I like the original because they're just plain and they are a fake potato. And I'm not a fan of potatoes, so I like the fake potato. Anyway, so guys, I have a bunch of cool things silver, vintage, fashion, a lot of new fashion. I'm going to be doing a jar on. And here's the puppy trying to get my avocado. You won't, you won't like it, buddy. I have some beautiful pieces of silver, vintage, all of that. So what do you all want to see first? I'd like to know. Because... If you want to see silver first, we'll do silver. Even though there's only a few people, then whomever is on first will get the best deals. Here, buddy, you want that? The puppy, he loves these, but he doesn't take chips very well. He has to eat it in little pieces, whereas <clears throat> the nugget loves chips. I can't have any more of these. <laughs> Okay, 
Francis, what are you saying? Um, silver. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. One more scoop of avocado. Mmm. I think these ones were from California, but they're good. I love the ones from Mexico. Okay. Silver. Okay, for you silver lovers tonight, <clears throat> I have a pendant brooch. And guys, tell me if I'm like um, going to be um, skipping or freezing because that had been happening on my channel before. Um, this is a pendant brooch. I didn't put a chain with it because a lot of people seem to not want the chain. But it's a, it, to me it looks like a Tasco piece, but I was very wrong. Hi, Sandy. It's actually Zuni. Um, and <laughs> it's clearly, clearly marked Zuni on one side of the wing on the back. And then the maker's mark is very hard to see, but I think it says E-E -E or E something. Anyways, <clears throat> it is a pendant brooch. So it has, it's silver. It's a native piece, Zuni. Mother of pearl, turquoise, spiny coral, and mother of pearl, mother of pearl. And then the middle, I think, is... Um, a, just a different version or part of the mother pearl where it's darker, but it is a pendant brooch and really beautiful. You know, butterflies are the signification for um, new life, new beginnings. I hope you can see it. Let me bring you a little closer. <laughs> Not that you want to see all my wrinkles, but here we go. Uh oh, I love it when people bring things up close to the camera because I want to see things. So I'm sorry if this is really close, but I don't want to put it on the ground or on the, the base and then you can kind of see it. I want you to really see it. Isn't that pretty? Here's the back. Yeah. Oh, but wait. Wait when I show you this other piece. So it says Zuni uh, on, okay, on your right side, it says Zuni on the top wing part. On the left, your side, it says, um, oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Right, my your side is E.E. -E, I think it's EE. -E. They mark maker's mark. And then on the left side says Zuni. <sighs> Love it. Now, hold on. I'm going to pair this with the earrings. Hi, Cricket, my love. I know I never call you that, but <laughs> I do love you, my little Cricket. <laughs> and Francis, I love you too. Hold on. I have earrings that really match. Francis is probably thinking, oh my gosh, what did she take? Is that water she's drinking? It is. I realized after losing some friends and a family member, we need to tell everyone how we feel about one, an one another. And this is how I feel. <laughs> so here are some earrings. The this is red jasper. And it's set in sterling silver. These are vintage as well. Um, they are marked on the back, I think, 925. Hold on. I thought one of them was. To me, they look like Tasco, but they could very well be uh, North um, Native American rather than Native American. They could be, um, you know, from the U.S. 
Native American. They are red jasper and laid in silver. Oops. Aren't they beautiful? Native jewelry is my obsession. Okay, and I thought it went really nicely with the um, pendant. That's why I've kind of put in them put them together. So hold on, I gotta put this like that. I'm just gonna show you them together. Hi Lynn, how are you? So you can see the red spiny oyster shell in the wingspan of the um, butterfly. And then I just thought they went really nicely with the red jasper inlaid. Um, <clears throat> even though this is Zuni, I don't know if this is like from Mexico or if it's uh, North Native American rather than South Native American. So I'm putting them together regardless. This is a beautiful set. If you'd like to buy it together, I'm going to sell it together. So this set together is going to be $60. But if you went on eBay, you're not going to find the, oh my God, the quality on this butterfly and the earrings are amazing. I mean, I wouldn't sell it as that unless I really thought that. But look at the butterfly. So just think of this as $30 and the earrings is $30. It's marked on the back. It is vintage. It does say Zuni. It does look like a Zuni piece of work. But it says Zuni and then it says EE. -E. It's a brooch pendant. I just paired it with these beautiful earrings because I thought they were gorgeous. I believe these are also native, but they're... They could quite possibly be from Mexico, so Southern Native American. <laughs> I know. Lynn, she is in heat again. <laughs> oh, here, look at, look at who's here. Bobby, oh, you're so gorgeous. So we have the earrings and the pendant. Now, if you want to buy it separately for $30 each, totally fine. Oops. I, if you want a new sterling um, brooch or necklace for the brooch, then I'm going to say another 15 But if you want one versus the other, that's okay, too. So... The earrings are gorgeous. Excuse me, mister. He has his little collegiate um, sweater on. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute, my baby doll. I love you, baby. Why are you so cute? Hmm? And then he will... <laughs> Look at him. He always acts like he's so sleepy. My baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. My baby, why you have dark circles? Because you cry all the time. That's your tears. Okay, go get them. Go get them. Go, oh, go get them. He doesn't even know what he's getting. <laughs> okay, so these are going to be 30 if you guys want to buy them separately, which is fine. These are red jasper. They are vintage. And I believe that these are South Native American. Aren't they beautiful? I feel like the lights aren't working with me tonight. They are gorgeous. Beautiful. So they're these. I just paired them with the pendant because I thought they were nice. Um, they kind of accented each other very nicely coordinated. Here's a Zuni piece. So this would be 30 also. It's a pendant brooch. It is vintage. It's uh, North Native American. It is hallmarked and stamped. It's a pendant brooch. Um, it is turquoise, 
spiny oyster shell, um, mother pearl. It's a pendant and a brooch, and that's 30. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. <laughs> <clears throat> your dog snoring <laughs> oh my gosh um lucky snores really loud so does the little nugget the little nugget the nugget she snores i mean she's only four pounds she snores so loud like a man it's so funny <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, I have some Valentine's stuff too, um, related. Not meaning it's all Valentine's and, you know. Okay, so we're going to move on from those. Uh, let me put these back in the bag. I kind of like them together, actually. I thought they're beautiful. All right. <clears throat> We do have some freshwater pearls. <laughs> oh, really, Sandy? <laughs> I'm going to get her fixed. She's like my last cat. And then he is the last, he's the last dog. He has to get fixed. I've had him for a year, a year and a half. And his little, you know, his little berries just dropped. So... These are freshwater pearls. Um, they're each eight dollars. I don't know if you can tell the color, but this is lilac, and this is cream. I hope you can see the color difference. It's very lilacy. It's beautiful. I'm gonna wear it for so you can see. Eight dollars each. And they are freshwater pearls. Oh, you didn't? I didn't send out an email this time because I was kind of busy um, prior. But uh, a YouTube notification. Sometimes I don't get the notification of my own video until like hours later. It's so weird. Okay. Then we're going to go on to... Let's continue with silver because... Francis, you asked for silver, so we're going to continue with silver. And then we'll have a giveaway at some point. All I'm going to say, it's a pewter piece. It's nice. Excuse me, buddy. I can't see when you're up here. Okay, <laughs> so um, this is a 925, it's just, this is vintage. Oh, I forgot to bring out my, um, what's it called, um, mannequin. Okay, well, I'm going to show it without the mannequin, and I'll go grab it if I think I need it. But this is a vintage abalone sterling silver. The clasp is... Sterling. I'm just shining it up on the sides here. Um, it's very, very vintage. All the findings are sterling. It's on a, um, I guess it would be, I guess it would be leather. This is leather. Sorry, I'm just shining it up. Hold on. Shining it, shining it. I thought I did this beforehand, but sometimes I miss pieces. <laughs> okay. It feels like leather, but it could also be the um, lacquered uh, cording, but it is vintage. So I would say it's about a 16 inch. And the back does say... Hold on, let me look. Okay. Ooh. Wow, that cleans up so nicely. Hold on. 
Let me clean the rest because that looks good. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to clean up the rest after afterwards, but wow, that really, that was really dirty, like tarnished dirty, you know? Wow, that looks beautiful. Okay, it says 925 on the back. So here is the necklace itself. And it's a really pretty, um, I would say it's about a three quarter inch um, pendant. Let me shine it up a little bit more. It's old abalone. Here's the back. It does say 925. I will shine it up more. There's a lot of tarnish still left, but if you saw it before, you'd be like, whoa, that's a huge difference. Hi, Diane. Who else is here? Um, da -da 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 -da. Kathy. Hello, Kathy. And then these little findings are also sterling. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to say 15 for this one. Um, this is pretty thick and heavy. The bale is pretty substantial. Hold on. Let me try to shine it up. I thought I, you know, I thought I did on this one, but apparently not. This, I would say it's about 16 to 18. Let me double check. And I would like for somebody to keep it on here because even it's a silver findings, you know, um, it is a 16 inch cord with the silver and, you know, end pieces and clasp and the bail is sterling. And so is the setting. It's old abalone. It says 925 on the back. And I, it's probably hard to see. I Me, mean, I'm gonna continue to shine this puppy up. It's beautiful. Even if you put it on a different chain, like a silver chain, that would be gorgeous. So this is shining up nicely, actually. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hi, Adam. How are you? Adam, I haven't seen you around lately, but I haven't been around either. <laughs> um, my neck is too, um, Diane, actually. But I would probably put this on another chain and then use this cord with the silver findings, put another silver thingy on it, you know what? I'm going to sweeten the pot because I kind of feel like, yeah, hold on. Hold on, folks. Hold your horses because I have another silver piece. It's quite thick, actually. It's a peace sign. And you could sell that with the cord because it has the silver findings for more money. So I'm going to say if you want this and the peace sign extra piece on this cord which you could sell it for i'm gonna say 22 dollars and let me let me grab that peace sign okay hold on guys i want you to see it. it's very thick it's a nice piece you can resell <clears throat> let's see where is that little peace sign Here it is. Okay. Oh. Interesting. 
Okay. Well, I thought there were two piece, or one piece, because I it was a ring with the peace sign, right? But it's actually a ring and the peace sign. Um, but I'm just, okay, so let's go back to the $15 mark. I'm going to throw this in, and it's sterling, a little peace sign. You'll need a jump ring, but, or bail, whichever. But I would say keep this abalone piece for you. And then put a little jump ring on this. And because it's already silver here, I mean, this actually goes better. The peace sign with this style of cording, you know what I mean? Thank you, Jennifer. I mean, it's a good buy, actually. And now I'm happy that you can put that on a different chain if you want to and sell the cord with the peace sign. So thank you so much. I didn't even see you come in, Jennifer, so hello. <laughs> Sorry, I was drawing earlier. Okay, Jennifer. Um, we're going to call it um, Abalone 925 Peace Sign necklace. Thank you so much. Okay. And we put this in a bag. The peace sign. Everything. Okay. Next thing. If we want to stick with silver, we'll stick with silver. I do have some charms here. Um, <clears throat> this little charm is um, turquoise and silver, and you could put it on a necklace or put it on. I probably put it on necklace. It is signed, also, but I can't read it, you guys. I'm sorry. It does say nine two five, and it has like a little hallmark. I can't read it, but it looks. It's like almost like a square. So here is the turquoise. Oopsie. And it has like a little um, one, two, three teardrop. Oops, has the jump ring and all that. <laughs> I keep dropping it. And here's the back which is 925, and then the Hallmark. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm like moving all around. Okay. I'm gonna sell these separately if anyone's interested. I found two sterling chains and a craft line. Oh, nice, perfect, awesome. That's awesome. I got a good deal to find Sterling too. <laughs> okay, so this, um, I don't know what this design is called. I call it a fan design. And then it has a teardrop, everything. Um, I'm going to sell this for $8 if anyone's interested. And I'm going to measure it real quick. The length. It Without the jump ring... It is just over an inch, just over an inch. And it does, it is silver and it does have um, turquoise. Oh my gosh. If you guys could see it. <laughs> Can you guys see it? Eight dollars. Okay, sorry. I'm so glad I can stream right now on this channel. 
Okay, so the next one is um, also Sterling and, oh, wait a minute, I think I want to keep that one. This one's Sterling, now this is vintage. It says Daytona Beach, Florida. So for any of your, you Florid, for Floridians, right? That's how you say Floridians. Um, it is Sterling, it is vintage. It says Daytona. Has, um, I think, in, I'm not sure if it's enamel or coloring, but it has like, um, I guess it's oranges. It is, yeah, it's oranges and it's also articulated. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, it says Daytona Beach, Florida at the bottom. It says Sterling on the back. And it, oh, it also says on the back, Sterling. Okay, so it says Sterling on the articulated part and the back part, pendant. So it says Daytona Beach, Florida. So it moves. See how it moves? Both parts say sterling on the back, by the way. Yeah, this one's going to go for, this is vintage. I'm going to say $8 too, if anyone wants it. $8, and they are oranges. It is articulated. Oops. Hold on. Let me get the light on it. There we go. Floor Indians. Like Indians. Oh, Floor Indians. Floor Indians? Really? Okay. So, for any of you who live in Florida, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. Ah. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> floor, floor Indians? Floor Indians, really? Oh, was he? Oh, I hope he wears it. How cute. That would be cute. Okay, so 925, I'm going to say Florida Pendant. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to put it in a bag. Okay. All right. The next thing I have is, I think I want to keep this one. I bought this little lot online for myself because um, it had a Saints medal, which I like those. <laughs> um, and I didn't realize that both of them were saint, or two of them were saints. So I'm going to keep this other one too. I just like saints medals. Yeah, I'm going to keep that also because hey, get down, buddy. Um, I mean, I grew up Catholic, and I just I don't know. I have to have these saint medals. Yeah, it does say sterling. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's not. It is sterling, but it says Project Commitment. Project Commitment ABWA. It's a heart. I thought it was um, St. Francis, actually. And this one says um, sterling. I think this is, I think it's a, um, it says 82 and ABWA on the back. Indiana. Rhymes, rhymes with Indians. Okay. Me too, Sandy. So I know who I'm up against, huh? <laughs> okay. So do you guys see it says ABWA and then it says project commitment on the side and it's got like red. It's a heart. It is sterling. 
um, on the back. It's like embossed also, raised. And it says Sterling, um, it says 82, so it might be a class, you know, like a sorority or something. I mean, you guys could probably look it up. It says Sterling, and it says something next to Sterling. I think number something. I'm going to sell this one for five. The number 17, it says next to Sterling. So this one's going to be five. I hope you guys can see it. Oh, there we go. There we go. If I could just keep my hand. I'm reaching so far. There we go. That one's going to be five. Here's the back. Nice, huh? Okay, if no one wants that one, that's okay. This is the one. This is the one I wanted to keep. This is the St. Um, Christopher. And I'll show you. I love it. I bought it for this. I paid way too much, but I bought it for that. <laughs> okay. I wanted it for that because I lost a lot of my mine. All right, we're going to go down on this one. We are going to say instead of eight, this one's going to be six. And it is turquoise and sterling. Kathy, is it this one? Because it's now six. So... That's fine. <laughs> that worked out, huh? Six dollars. Is this the one? Okay. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So six dollars on that one now. I'm going to call it Turquoise 925 Drop Charm. Thank you, Kathy. I hope you're feeling better. We were supposed to um, talk this week, but I got sick too. And I had to work. Um, so that wasn't fun, but I'm fine now. Okay. I'm really sore though. That's the main thing. I'm sore. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Pat. Are you serious, Sandy? Oh my God. What, Sandy, I can't remember. What state do you live in? I feel like California is like over, over um, processed. Like everyone knows what everything is worth here. <laughs> yeah, it was just a, a bad cold and then. I did have to work. I wasn't feeling very good. Uh oh, really? New York? Well, consider yourself lucky because here I feel like everything is like overpriced. <laughs> oh, Pat, how are you? <laughs> okay, here's um potato pearls, freshwater potato pearls. They do have um sterling class they are it's vintage so you pull it across like this oops did i do it wrong yeah you pull it apart it's marked unhook it and that's the clasp it is vintage really nice very sturdy obviously because i was struggling with it there we go push it back in that's the class kind of art uh, nouveau and then the potato pearls let me get close so you can see them 
This one's 15. It's a 16 inch natural potato pearls. I wish Jeannie was on here because I think she wanted these, but um, I think we're on very different time zones. These are 15. Can you see the ridges and the potato pearls? Okay. Move on from there. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 you look nice, Lori. Oh, thank you. I, I'm trying to get kind of Valentine-ish. And then I have my, um, these are mother pearl chunks from like the 70s. I was selling it, but no one bought it, so I just wore it. I'm wearing it. I like, I really do like this. Pretty piece. Thank you. Um, okay, let's see. I know, Pat, and I feel bad because I meant to message you before Chinese New Year, but I was sick. And then I couldn't get it all done. <laughs> oh, Pat, I, I, I'm excited to hear about your process. I hope you put it on YouTube because I would love to see it. Um, okay. So if no one wants these freshwater pearl bracelets, one's in lilac, one's in um, cream, they are $8 each. This is the lilac, that's the cream. They are stretchy. They are freshwater pearl. Okay, I showed this before, so sorry if I'm re-showing some stuff. Let's take a little break. I'm gonna show you my Valentines. This is what they're gonna look like, guys. The hearts are in here. I'll show you one. Let's see. We'll do. This doesn't have all the candy in it, but I'm just going to show you anyways. So these little containers are food safe. So you can put your snacks in them, you know, like your nuts and berries, dried fruit, fresh fruit, yogurt, whatever. Um, they are two tier. I don't know if you could see that lip up there. And I put um, the Mardi Gras beads on them for embellishment. Then they have the, you guys can send these to one another. If you want to send them to somebody, email me who you want to send them to. Don't say it on here so it can be a surprise. Um, the makeup in here is cruelty free. And I coordinated the colors of lip gloss and lip color as best as I could. They are cruelty free. And then there are chocolates from Dove, Hershey Kisses, and then, so the Dove is in here, these chocolates. But there are gonna be a little bit more. I just, you can't see them, they keep sliding. But there'll be more Dove chocolates. Hershey, I just started these, so whomever ordered it, I could get them started. Um, Hershey Kisses and Conversation Hearts. Then you get a piece of fashion jewelry, but the fashion jewelry is either crystal, um, a Hallmark brand, um, glass, or um, glass, Hallmark, crystal. Yeah, so something, you know, that's like brand new. It's not, if it's not new, it's like brand new, impeccable shape. And so it gets wrapped like that. It comes on a card like this, wrapped in plastic. And it all comes together like this with a Valentine card. And these are $10. And you can send them to whomever. But so I thought that was a really good deal for chocolates, candies, makeup, um, fashion jewelry, $10. So you can send them to whomever. I still have a few of those left. So I thought I'd show those. Um, thank you, Sandy. 
Ooh. Yes, they will. Uh, <laughs> but also tell me when you would also like to have them sent out. I don't want to send them out too soon to ruin the surprise of Valentine's Day. So it felt like if I sent them out the the week before Valentine's, would that be good? I think across the U.S. that'd be good. If you're in Canada, I'll send them out like towards the end. Well, like in a few days here. Thank you. Or if you're international, same thing. Yeah. Hi, Becky. How are you? So we're moving along, but I still have some of those left. And they are really cute because it's like a container you can reuse. It's food safe. You get chocolates. You get candies. Um, you get uh, makeup. You get... Uh, fashion jewelry that's either hallmarked or vintage or not vintage hallmarked glass crystal or new um but one of those things if they're new and you get a little cute valentine's card i have one more val no two more valentine's things to show you and then that'll be it Oh my gosh, I'm almost done with my water. I promised myself not to drink too much water on here. Okay, since you ladies might have teenage girls or granddaughter or nieces or something that you want to get something for, I have something for you. I revamped my little Valentine mailbox. Let's see what I'm going to read what you guys are saying. Oh, good, Becky. I didn't know what was going on, Becky. You just asked for prayers, and I'm so sorry. Like, I, I hope you can call me and tell me if you need to talk. Please do. Mine sent out the week before U.S. friend. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you, Francis. I know, Becky. I want to know. I mean, you don't have to stay on here. You can always contact me later. Look at my white hair, you guys. It looks like blonde. Well, it kind of looks like blonde streaks because I do put a root color in it. <laughs> okay, here's the little mailbox, okay? You can put this up and down. I will package it very well, by the way. It opens... And look at the stuff's fill, like spilling out already. So I will decorate it with like red tissue so it'll be pretty when they open it. But because this is for a teenage one, I'm going to show you what's going to be in it. <laughs> it's fun stuff. And you're probably thinking, oh, those are crazy colors. But these are fine for, you know, teenagers. Now, these are brand new. And they are glitter um, eyeshadows. And they are in gold, like a light yellow gold, a pink, a coral color, and a darker gold glitter. And they are animal cruelty free. They are brand new by LA Colors. Um, then I have a different brand, cruelty free glitter gold nail polish. I thought that would go nicely with the two gold eyeshadows. This is cruelty free lip gloss, which is in all of my hearts, but this one looks white, but it just takes on the color of your natural lip and looks beautiful. So it's really nice for teens if you don't want, you know, them to have like a darker color on them. Then they get, um, this is a natural life, nature life, gratitude and happiness um, bead. It's brand new bracelet in a little sheath and it has a little thing back there says it and matching earrings this still has a price on the corner if you'd like me to cut it off I could but they are two pairs of new earrings in the matching color of the bracelet they are new and a big bag of candy so these are doves these are 
um, Hershey Kisses. These are strawberry candies and then the conversation hearts. <laughs> That's a lot of candy. <laughs> So they're nice candies. The conversation hearts are kind of falling to the bottom, but there's quite a bit of chocolates in here, mainly chocolates and then the candies. So this one with all the candy, the glitter makeup, the nail polish, the natural lip gloss, it looks white, but it's natural. The um, two of the fashion jewelry. In this container is gonna be $12. If anyone's interested, it does come wrapped really nicely and I will put it with a Valentine card. Um, and it's so cute, you guys. If you have a teenager, preteen, granddaughter, niece, sibling, whatever. Let's see. Long story short, God made a huge change in our lives. We were both extremely stressed and my allergies went berserk. I'll call you tomorrow after. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, boy. Oh, Becky. Yeah. The Lord will always, um, the Lord will always help us out. I mean, <laughs> some way or another, right? Oh, Becky, call me tomorrow for sure. Thank God. Thank God it worked out. Okay, thank you, Pat. <laughs> you like it? So cute. You've got mail. Okay, thank you so much, Pat. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Pat, I'm going to have to adjust your customs form, which is fine. I will adjust it by one on the... I'm calling this something on the form, which is funny. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't been feeling good, you guys. I haven't gotten to my emails. I haven't answered back so many people like, Daisy, I feel so bad. I've just been kind of under the weather and working. Not for my business, for my dad, actually. He had a little job. It's not even his job. It's a friend's job that he's helping with that I'm helping with that. <laughs> I'm going to call this the mailbox valentine. And thank you, Pat. Okay, so that's Pat's. All right, guys. I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm reading your comments, guys. Oh, thank you, Pat. Okay, one more thing. Excuse me for slurping that. Oh, goodness. Okay. Another Valentine thing. It's a vintage heart that I bought. I had one of these as a kid. In fact, I think it's the same one, but I haven't dug mine out. Um, it's all silver. I know you're seeing the reflection, but it has like a gold bow with a little rhinestone in the middle. I'm not sure, but I thought this was silver plated because mine is silver plated. But I'm not sure. I didn't test it, to be honest. But it's a nice size. Excellent condition. Now, I'm going to sell this with your choice, whatever you would prefer. So, it's like brand new in, in there. Yeah, it's just like little fuzzies. But it's like brand new inside. Okay. There's like a little. Okay. I think I can get that out. So it's this box, which I will wrap up very nicely, as you know. You have your choice. 
Yes, Pat, I do. <laughs> I do. So you have your choice of items to go in here. You have a vintage ring, which is small. It's very um, small, like it's five, no, four and three quarters. It's a cigar band heart, solid heart too, by the way. Did you, oh my gosh, it's so cool, Becky. I still have mine. So this is a vintage cigar band heart ring. The heart is solid. The band is very thick and solid. As you can see, I'm gonna put it against the dark. Okay, four and three quarters, very small. Or your choice of this vintage heart that's from Mexico. It says 925 Mexico on the top of the bail. No, no, no. I don't know if you guys can, hold on. The puppy, you need to get down, baby. You need to get back down. It's a nice size bale. There's something about this heart that I'll show you in a second. It's a vintage heart. It's a puffy heart. It's thick, but it is hollow. It is thick, but it is hollow. And the bale is big, so you could put a nice big chain. Or I could provide you for a chain. Or provide you with a chain. Now listen. It has little, um, oh, what are they called? Not Himalayan, but the um, Buddhist, like little Buddhist bells inside. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice size um, puffy heart. And the bale says um, 925 Mexico. The only thing with this little heart pendant, it's a nice size. On one side, it has a little tiny ding here. Right right there. Can you see that? Okay. But you can always wear the side that doesn't have the ding. Um, it's a lot of silver. It is a vintage piece. So you have your choice of the puffy heart or the ring. Either or. Okay. In... The heart, vintage heart jewelry box. And I will wrap it very nicely. And if you want to chain on the pendant, I will do that. It'll be just a little extra. It'll be a brand new chain and it'll be $15 extra. Um, anyways, so your choice of the ring or the pendant for 25 but you're getting this gorgeous, thick vintage ring in this beautiful jewelry box, vintage jewelry box. Or you can have it with this pendant, vintage pendant from Mexico. And Mexican silver is by far my favorite silver. If you want to chain with it, it's brand new, but it'll be $15 extra. So either or, I know, isn't it cool? Reminds me of church, actually. <laughs> so this one with the heart is 25 or the ring. It's uh, four and three quarters. So it could be a pinky ring for any of you, 25. But it's thick silver and this is vintage. Oops, it's very nice. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here in case any of you would like that. I love this heart. I would actually keep it, but I already have something similar. So that's why I'm not keeping it. Okay. I have some sterling silver hoops. Um, they are diamond cut and they are, let me see what the radius is. It is an inch in radius. OK. 
Okay, these little earrings, hoop earrings that are diamond cut, I hope that you guys can see that. Diamond cut, they're sterling silver, they're inch in radius. They're like really the perfect size. I like a certain size that's like perfect. These are only gonna be $12 if anyone's interested. $12, they are sterling silver. They look brand new actually, but they are not. $12 to the first person who just says want. <laughs> I'm making it easy. They're nice. Hi, Michelle. How are you? This puppy, he needs to get down. He's driving me crazy. <clears throat> Becky, do you, since no one has, um, oh, Lydia, how are you? I didn't even see Lydia. Where's Lydia? Hold on. Did I, I don't see Lydia. I don't see Lydia. Someone sees Lydia. You guys see Lydia. I don't see Lydia. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So, Becky, since no one is interested in the vintage heart with either the heart pendant or the heart ring in silver... If no one's interested in this combo, oh, there you are, Lydia. <laughs> I just pretend. <laughs> Stop. Um, if no one's interested in this combo, I'm going to sell just the heart. Ooh. If anyone, if Becky, if you're interested, let me know, and I'll sell just the heart. But otherwise, it came with either the vintage heart with bells inside from Mexico or the ring, which was four and three quarters, solid heart. And it's 25 for one or the other, the ring or the pendant in the heart, the vintage heart, which is immaculate on the inside. Velvet. If no one wants it as a set, then I will just um, sell the heart by itself to Becky. Okay, if no one's interested, I'm gonna sell just the heart. Becky, if you want this heart, it's gorgeous. Um, it's like an excellent condition, and I'll shine it up. I think it's silver plated, to be honest, but I don't know for sure because I never tested it. Um, if you want this heart, it's eight dollars. And if you don't, that's okay too. The bow is like a gold tone. I thought it had rhinestones on it. It's just um, embossed. Okay, thank you, Becky. It's gorgeous. I have one. I need to put it out on my dresser because I kind of miss it. <laughs> my mom gave me one. It was for my mama. Okay, thank you, Becky. Becky. I'm just going to say heart jewelry box. Thank you so much. You're going to love it. I'm going to send this right away because I would think you would want it. Oh, Daisy, I've been meaning to reply back to you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for your lovely email. I was just saying how I haven't gotten back to my emails and you were one of them, Daisy. I'm so sorry. You wrote such a 
beautiful email. Thank you so much. It made me feel so good. It made me feel better because Daisy wrote me a nice email after Kim passed away and I was very emotional and thank you so much. As many of you know, it was my aunt who passed away suddenly and then Kim. So thank you so much, Daisy. That was so nice of you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I feel terrible for not getting back to people's text messages or emails. I'm so sorry, but I am, I feel like back on track now. There's just a lot going on in my life with everything, but, um, thank you. I, I will email you back. I promise. <laughs> thank you, Becky. Thank you so much. Okay. I hope you guys are having like a really nice pre Valentine's cause I love Valentine's day, but I'm going to still show you some Valentine's stuff, even though I said I had one more thing, but I really have more. Um, <laughs> so I guess I could sell this ring by itself. This thick vintage ring. It's four and three quarters. If anyone wants this one for, we're going to sell it for, um, 20. And that's a deal because it is vintage and it is Hallmark in the back. And it's a solid heart, by the way. It's a cigar band with the solid heart. Welcome back, Pat. <laughs> okay, this one's from Mexico. We'll do this one for 20 also. Without the chain, it's a puffy heart with a bail. It does say 925 Mexico. Has a little, like, Guatemalan bells. It does have one little ding here. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Thank you so much. Now that you could just wear against, you know, your blouse. I have a big necklace on tonight, don't I? <laughs> I like it, though. <laughs> so these are going to be 20 if anyone wants them. Okay. The other thing that was... Oh, okay. So I have all the hearts still. Oopsie. That are $10. They come in the package. I showed you guys the packaging. And these are $10. Um, they look like this when I send them. This... This platter is heavy, and then with all the hearts, but they look like that with jewelry, makeup, candy, everything. I, I gotta put these aside because they are super heavy. And oh, there you go. Okay, the other thing that's Valentine ish. Is this box here. It's velvet. It's new with the red bow on it. <clears throat> and it says love forever and always. And it is truly inspired. It's called silver plated fine jewelry, 14 karat gold flash. Um, so that means 14 karat. So it has um, silver plating and gold overlay. And then it has, it's made with Swarovski crystals. Now, I was originally selling this for um, 20, but I'm going to sell it for 15 if anyone wants it. It's brand new. And this is perfect for Valentine's because it comes in the box. It's pretty. Thank you, Francis. Thank you. I'm going to take a lint roller to it again. This 
velvet really attracts little dust, doesn't it? Like little, it's not dust. It's it's just like a part of the fabric, I think, but it's really beautiful. Thank you. And with the Swarovski. So since we're on Swarovski, I'm going to show another Swarovski piece. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Lucky is eating some conversation hurts right now. <laughs> I don't know why she likes them. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear her chomping on them. <laughs> I'm going to call this the Swarovski Heart Necklace Set. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys are getting some pretty little Valentine stuff. Um, okay, then I have, I got to find that Swarovski ring. I want to show you guys for sure. Hold on. It might be in here. It was brand, oh, and I got to show you that. Silver, also heart. Okay. I'll show this too. Um, and then I want to do a giveaway. Okay, I don't know where I put that Swarovski. Hold on. And I need a little sugar. Guys, these are my favorite. If I got a heart shaped one of these, date coconut covered or coconut covered dates with, um, Blanched almonds. Oh my gosh, these are my favorite. These are my favorite. Look at. Mmm. That's better than chocolate. Way better than chocolate. I mean, if you want to be my Valentine, I should say. <laughs> Anyone want to be my Valentine? <laughs> Beside myself. <laughs> she only ate two. Hungry. Huh, but I don't know why she likes it. I guess it's because it's sugar. Alrighty. <clears throat> All right. So... Um, what was I going to show you? The Swarovski ring. And then I'll show you the, it's brand new in the packaging. I am going to open it for you guys. It's a size eight. Oops, it's stainless steel and Swarovski crystals. But I'm going to open it very gently. It has that plastic that just you can open. So I'll send it to you in this packaging with the Swarovski. It's a size 8. Now this is beautiful. Yeah, I don't give the dogs chocolate at all, but if I were, dark chocolate, yeah, just a smidgen, a little morsel. Now, this is a size 8. It's very thick. It says 8. And it has a Swarovski crystals. Oh, and it has the writing in it. So it said, oh gosh, I can't read that. Oh, wait, I can. Hold on. It says, oh, it has a prayer in it. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. It says, God, hold on. God grant me the serenity. Hold on. Oh, oop, I just tore this size off. Sorry. It was stuck on there. I couldn't read it with it. I'm going to take it off. Okay. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can change, I'm sure. Can and can change and the wisdom wisdom to know the difference oh that's a beautiful thing so god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change and courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference. That's a beautiful verse. Oh, I like that. Because it's a saying, a verse, it is new, it's Sterling and Swarovski. I'm only gonna ask 15 for it if anyone's interested. And it's a size eight. And I just took the size off of it, the little sticker. But they are Swarovski crystals. So you can see the writing in there. Okay. All right. If no one's interested in that in 15, I'm going to go 12. Anyone for 12? And if no one for 12, then too bad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to laugh. <laughs> oh, thank you. I know. Really pretty. Okay, we'll move on. I hope it says, oh, it does say size eight. Okay, good, on the package. I'm just gonna put this back in here. All right, I'm gonna show a vintage pieces. Well, before we go into the vintage, let me show this. It's brand new, it's sterling silver. It's from my dad's collection. Um, I think this is a 20 inch. Let me double check. Okay, so it is a 18 an 18 inch and it's double hearts <clears throat> pendant on a pretty chain. So you get two hearts. One is a matte heart. The other is a shiny heart. And look at these charms. They're very nicely made. I don't know if you could see that. This heart necklace, it's brand new, silver. It's going to be 25 And it is an 18 inch in length. And it's brand new. This is a part of my dad's collection. And it, I think the charms alone, look how big they are. They're nicely made too. Isn't that pretty? So 25 on that. Okay, next piece is vintage. Um, it is from Mexico. 
like so. And I do need a mannequin, I think, to show you guys this. <clears throat> Darn it. I have to use the restroom now. I didn't even drink that much water, I feel like. But I drank coffee just before I came on. That's probably it. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. I will. I have so much to show you. I have fashion, too. So don't... Don't get discouraged if I'm not showing something that you're wanting yet, because it'll come up. Be right back. Okay. Oh, sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm sore. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I got 11 people and 11 thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Let me grab the mannequin. It's just over here. Okay. Oh, Okay. <sighs> Guys, I haven't even done my dishes in like three days. I'm not even kidding. I normally always do my dishes every night. But I've been sore, <laughs> working, sick. <laughs> okay. Let me put the um, heart on here. I'm just going to show you real quick. And then we'll move on to this other piece that's vintage. <clears throat> so it kind of dingle dangles as you wear it. Isn't that pretty? You could take one off if you wanted to. It's beautiful. 25. And these are big charms. That's the matte, and then that's the shiny one. Okay. All right, next one is vintage. <clears throat> There's a few vintage pieces I want to show you guys, and then fashion pieces, of course. So we have earrings and a matching pendant. Um, now, this is a Tasco piece by the artist... Um, Nestor, and I put it on a new necklace, sterling necklace, because I didn't have any vintage ones that I liked with it. So I liked this one because it's a little more refined. And the earrings are beautiful. They are marked and hallmarked. Okay. So here's the pendant, that's the necklace, here are the earrings, and they are hallmarked, 
Um, it says 925 Sterling, um, Mexico and Nestor, I believe. Mexico, 925 Nestor. And then it has the numbers at the bottom. So it is a Tasco piece. That's amazing silver smithing back in the 40s, 50s, 60s. No, yeah, sorry. 50s, 60s um, mainly. And then on the pendant part, it says it has um, like a little relief on there, as you can see. And that says sterling. So this set is gorgeous. With the chain, because I think it, I mean, if you don't want the chain, that's fine. But with the chain, the pendant and the matching earrings, it's a Tasco Nestor. He's a des major designer for Tasco. This set is going to be $60 if anyone's interested. That's amazing for Tasco. Think about it. 60, let's see, 20, 40, 60. That's $20 a piece. But really, if you really think about it, 25, 25, and 10 for the chain because the chain is new. And, you know, silver chains are a lot more. Look up the history of Tasco and Nestor. Okay. All right. So we're going to move on to some fashion here. And... Okay. All right, so I do have a lot of fashion pieces. This is the fun part, I think, too. <laughs> um, here are some, these are vintage, um, vintage rhinestone earrings. They'll be on a card. If you want to give them that way, and I'll put a piece of plastic sheath, just like the other stuff you see. These are vintage. They are rhinestone. They're all clear. They're beautiful. These are the real thing, guys. Not like something you buy at Claire's or any of those little cheapy stores. These are real. These are going to be $6, and that's a steal of a deal. You can't even buy from Claire's the rhinestones like this for that price. But these are vintage. These are actually real. These are $6. They're little dangles. They look like um, sapphires. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I have some more bracelet or sorry, earrings. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. Sorry, you guys. I have so many things to show you. Little lots too, by the way, that are gonna be very inexpensive. And I have a jewelry jar. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Where did I put them? Here we go. Thank you. They are gorgeous. Thank you so much. Let's put that with over here. Let me write that down. Uh oh, where'd my pen go? Here we go. Kathy. I'm just going to put vintage sapphire, although they're not sapphires, rhinestone earring. Thank you so much. Okay. The other, um, okay, maybe you'll like this necklace because it's vintage and it has um, a sapphire looking drop just like your earrings. So here, so let me show you. Here are the earrings. Here is the necklace. So they're a bit of a different color. Okay, so maybe never mind, but. I have this on a card. So it's rhinestone. 
And then here's the teardrop. Okay, so it looks lighter when I do that. And then it's rhinestone on the sides. I just put it in like this. But it has, let me take it out of here. You know, I like to package things just so. <laughs> I'm going to put it on here. Isn't that pretty? So it's vintage. And then look at the chain. So it goes rhinestone to about there. Okay. And then it has this chain, which I thought was silver. I didn't test it. I don't think it is, but it is vintage. Look at look at the chain. Isn't that beautiful? Let me put it on the mannequin. This darn mannequin. I need like a white mannequin. I think it'd be easier to show things. So it has, I can let it out by three inches. So that's that. This one's gonna be 10. And it has a three inch extension. Let me, I'm gonna let it out so you guys can kind of get the idea of how long it can be. I don't like short, short necklaces, but for rhinestone, I kind of like them shorter than longer, obviously. That's the length I like it, right there. That is my favorite length. <laughs> So it's all rhinestone here on the chevron piece up to here. And then the chain is like a diamond cut looking. And that's 10. And it is vintage. Thank you. Okay. We'll move on from this one. I'm not going to bother putting it back on the card because that'll take too long. <laughs> Okay, let me move it over. Hold on. So I can put it back together tonight when I clean up. Okay, these earrings are also vintage. Oh, they are gorgeous. They're all articulated. I know we've all had these in the past. These are vintage. You can buy these at Claire's, but they're cheapy. These are stainless steel backs. You know um, how they create rhinestone. The backings of rhinestone is stainless steel. That's what these are. And they are all separated. See? So our, all are articulated. These are going to be $6 also. Let's do these for 5 because they don't have a stone on them. We'll do these for 5 These are vintage. And then I have another pair that are similar. Where'd they go? Oops, sorry guys. Okay. I'm gonna put it there. And I swear I'm missing some pieces. <laughs> okay, I'll find it. There was another pair, but I can't find it now. Okay, this next one. These are going to be bracelets. Um, these are stretchy. Vintage rhinestone. So they are stainless steel on the underside. And then rhinestone, of course. Now this one's smaller. So if you have small wrists, this would be ideal because it fits me just at the top of my wrist. And this is gonna be um, $6. Okay. I'm just gonna put all of them on so you can kind of get an idea for the size. I love rhinestone pieces. I have all of my mom's vintage ones, and that's a good thing. <laughs> so here is um, a slightly newer piece. 
These are also stainless, but they are bronze color on the underside. This one, and this one's, um, you know, the silver color. So I guess I should sell them separately, but this is stretchy. This is also smaller, I would say. So this one is gonna be five. The bronze underbelly one is gonna be five. This one's six. This one is gonna be $3. This is a vintage one, stretchy, one strand, $3. Sorry, I'm trying to push them down now. Then I have this one. This is so pretty. This is very vintage to me. This is definitely very vintage, but it is smaller. It is the stainless steel. It's impeccable underneath also. I love rhinestones too. This is a beautiful one. Now this is smaller, like these. Ooh, I'm afraid to put it on actually. Yeah, okay, so it's definitely smaller, but that's typical of a lot of vintage ones. This one is gonna be six also. Six, three, five, six. Vintage, less vintage, vintage, vintage. And they are beautiful. And there's something to be said for the vintage when they have clear stones. When they get that dark stone, it's like, um, like I think they call them dead stones. That's when you don't, that's when you have to replace them. And, but these are all fine. So six for this one, it's beautiful design. Three for this one, one strand, vintage. This one is gonna be five, vintage, but not as old. And this is very vintage, and this is six. Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put these all away. Oh, did I show? Oh, one more to show. I didn't know. God, I love rhinestones. I think I just kind of naturally collect them too. When I see them, I'm like, oh, they're so pretty. This one. This one, I think, has Swarovski because they're extra, extra shiny. Now this one fits me a little better, it's bigger. So yeah, this one fits me way better. I can go down further. Even though I think these are, if they're not Swarovski, they're Austrian crystals, um, I'm gonna say seven for this one. And it's stretchy, but bigger for me to fit too. Seven on that one, but it's bigger. Okay. Actually, let me put it in here. All right, moving on to I love I actually do love bling. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, here's some necklaces. Now, I did show this one once before, and I think it is really stunning. This is more of an Art Nouveau style. And this one's going to be 15, but it's Art Nouveau for the square design, and it's articulated here. Um... Really beautiful. That one's 15. 
couple more. We'll be done with the rhinestone. Oh, I forgot about this one. Okay, this one's going to be, um, I'm not sure how old this one is, to be honest. I think it's a little newer. So I'm going to say $4 on this one. It's a stretchy rhinestone. And then it has the modern ball chain as the extender. And so we're going to say $4 on that one. So one little stone looks a little bit darker, I noticed. I'm going to say three on this one. Okay. All right. If no one's interested in these, there's no reason. Well, I'll show just to show them. But these are very vintage. This is something like my mom had from back in the day. So these are more like antique. These are definitely antique. This is like my mom's era in the 40s. Um, this is also going to be 15, but it is an antique. You can tell by the clasp, the rhinestone, the, connect, the connection between each rhinestone. Now you can sell these for more on like Etsy. Um, the only reason I'm not is because I'm still listing. I'm going to be listing on Etsy. And so this is kind of like my before I list. So it's kind of a benefit here. Now, this one is also antique. This one's going to be 10. Okay, one more, one more, we'll be done. I just kind of like to show things in groupings. <laughs> this is very antique. This is also gonna be 10. This is very old. It has an older class than all the rest. I think every woman should have a classic Vintage, antique, rhinestone, piece in her collection. See that clasp? We wore them um, in our formals when we had a lot of formals going on as young adults, my sister and I. And um, I'm so glad my mom had all this stuff because if we had to go out and buy it, it would have been ridiculous. Which one, Francis? The last one? Let's see, because this one was only 10. Which one that you wanted for 15? Was it this one? Uh-oh, I'm getting pop-ups. Yes, the last pendant. Oh, the last one. So this one. So this one was only, I believe I said 10. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, so that's the, the extent of the rhinestone. Lots. <laughs> thank you, Francis. I gotta put it in a bag, hold on. Hold on, make it in a baggie. Okay. Ooh, there's a mosquito in here. I can feel it. I'm going to call it Antique Rhinestone Necklace 10. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Trisha. Okay, let's move on. How 
are you? A little more water. There, there's a mosquito flying in here. God, I hate mosquitoes. <laughs> okay. So I have a set here that's my dad's collection. Um, it's platinum over ionized over sterling silver. Now I thought of selling it as a set the way it is. But if someone doesn't like the pendant or they don't want the ring and they want to buy it separately, my dad has been open to that, which I think is great. Because people have asked in the past and I, he's agreed to it. So I think that's good. So I have a pendant ring set. Now, uh-oh, <laughs> speaking of my dad, he was just calling. <laughs> so this is in length, the chain. I think he forgot I was going on live. It is 20 inches in length. I think that's the perfect length, 18 to 20 for me. And the ring is a size... Five and a half. So 20 inch. It's platinum over sterling silver ionized. So it's not plated. So it'll, it won't will rub off ever. It's ionized. Heat treated. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have like a weird little tickle in my throat. And, but I am better now. So here is the pendant. It's tanzanite, brand new. They're all prong set. Okay, the bail, the chain, everything is uh, platinum over sterling. Then the ring, what did I say, five and a half? Here's the matching ring. I don't know if you guys can hear my dog snoring. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> so it is a matching set. Get closer. Isn't that nice? Now, if you don't want it as a set, that's okay. My dad has said we can sell separately. Thank you. Yeah, so Tanzanite is um, from Tanzania, um, from Africa. Now, the color is a beautiful periwinkle color, which it should be. Let me get close. Can you guys see that color? Isn't that pretty? They're all prong set. Okay. The pendant, same thing. Let me get a little closer with it. Isn't that pretty? Very nice periwinkle color for tanzanite. If you want the set, it's $50. But my dad said, if you want it separated and you want one versus, uh, you can hear her. <laughs> she just woke up. She's self-conscious. <laughs> if you want one versus the other, they're 25 each, which is an amazing deal for Tanzanite and brand new rings. So the Tanzanite, the setting, I don't know if you can see the filigree on the sides. Okay. And then it has a beautiful filigree underneath, or the undercarriage. I don't know if you could see that. Thank you. So yes, Tanzanite necklace it is. It's beautiful. You can't buy this in, if you went to like the jewelers, you know how much this would cost? I would say, cause in platinum also, Probably about $400 if you had to buy it in the jewelry store. So this is a great deal. Thank you, Diane. 
Okay, before I write that down, thank you. Oh, the ring is too small. Yes. Here's the ring, also 25. Tanzanite, not gorgeous. I really love the undercarriage because it looks like stained glass. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to try to show it to you. Not that it's important, but it's just beautiful work. Uh, the ring is, I forgot. <laughs> it is five, oh, okay, five and one quarter. Five and one quarter. Let me double check. Mm. Yes, five and one quarter, Pat. So it actually fits my pinky, but that's about it. You know what? I love Tanzanite. I love that dreamy periwinkle blue color. I love any blues. Isn't that gorgeous? Guys, don't look at my nails. Look at these things. I need to... Do something with them. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Sorry, Pat. It's beautiful. Platinum over ionized over sterling. I love the color of tanzanite. And tanzanite is very pricey. Okay. Okay. So let me write this down for Diane. That's a great deal, Diane. I'm so glad you got it. Okay, Diane. Now you can resell this for a lot more um, on eBay, Etsy, Posh. I just haven't gotten there yet. So I will. I will. I'm setting it up. Um, let's see. Tanzanite. Platinum over sterling necklace, 20 inch. Thank you so much. I know, huh? You guys are almost the same size. And you both like very feminine things, I noticed. <laughs> All right, let me, it'll come in a box, of course, one of my dad's boxes, but I'm just going to put it on this for now so it doesn't get... Hurt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. Okay. I need to put this ring in another box. Okay. Um. So let's go back to some fashion or nice fashion it's up to you guys I do have let's go to this I have a lot of things I really actually want to show you guys okay ooh yeah let me show you guys this these are 1928, the collection earrings. Oops. Okay. 1928. Now, I remember when I worked retail, oops, um, 1928 was a hit. And they are, they're really a good collection to have. So it's the 1928. They're just kind of like, they're better than Avon. They're like Monet, but better. So they, excuse me, have a faux pearl at the um, top and the bottom. And they are 1928. They come, I just put them on this card, but I just happen to have these. Actually, Trisha got me, made me some cards. I need to um, use those also. It says Creative Lori's Gems on there. And she got the she made them for me on her Cricut. I think Cricut. 
for free as a gift. So thank you, Trisha. I'm going to be using those. I was just kind of using up these cards that I had. And um, these are going to be $5. They are $19.28. They are like brand new. I already labeled it on the back because you know how anal I am. I like to label everything. And these are five. I remember selling these at Macy's on, or out also at Nordstrom when I worked at Nordstrom. And these were like $18.99, $21.99, and they're still in high demand. So for these, for $5, you can sell them on Posh too. I forgot. Posh was the other one. Mercari is the other one. $5 on $19.28. Okay. Now, I have some little earrings here for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I can't wait to use them. I actually put them in my bin underneath the other ones to use so that I would use up the generic ones and use up those when I really wanted them. <laughs> you found Monet at JCPenney's? I don't even know that they still carried Monet, to be honest. Wow, I didn't know that. Now, I'm not sure about these guys, but they do say Avon on the backs. So I kind of think that they are Avon. I didn't look them up. I forgot. But they are heart earrings. They have like a three band or three. Yeah, it's like um, looks like three pieces of metal band together. It goes all the way around. Oop. See what I mean? And these are perfect for Valentine's Day. They're hearts. <laughs> New on the card. I'll put them in plastic, too. Um, these are going to be $4 if anyone's interested. I believe they are Avon. The backs were labeled Avon. I'll show you. And I'll show you how cute the earring is, too. Oh, I almost kept these. Let me tell you. Because they are really cute. Oops, I... There we go. Here's the earring. Good size. See what I mean by the ridges on there? The three pieces. Now, the backings do say Avon. I kind of think they are. You can look it up. Um, oh, they say it on the back. And there's probably no way you're going to see it, but it does say on the back part, Avon. Yeah, you can't see it, but right on that side. <laughs> so <laughs> it's too hard to see. But they are super cute. They, I believe, are Avon. Okay. Which I do like Avon very much. Oops. All right. Then... I do have a jar. Now, is anyone interested in a jar of new jewelry? Because I do have that coming up, but I'm going to wait a little bit to show that one. I Oh, let me show this one. Now, if anyone else has a young daughter, teenage daughter, um, where did, hold on, guys. Okay. So, you know, I'm doing the hearts for $10. They come like this. Now, when I package them, um, they'll probably be folded down like that into the packaging. And then I'll have packaging above it and below it to protect it and bubble wrap and all that. So, but it should come out pretty good. So, in the packaging, those are 10, which is the heart. And they are for food. You can use them for food. They're food safe. I did put Mardi Gras beads on them on the outside. I'm showing these because I still have a few left. Now I have gotten the um, cruelty-free um, nail polish and lip gloss. And I got the, this one's a glitter one. And then a light pink for your teen. And it's very light. And then you have Dove Chocolates at the bottom. 
Hershey Kisses. I'll put some um, conversation hearts in there to fill it up. So you get that. This is a particular one I'm trying to sell because I wanted to do it for a team. Then there's a necklace and bracelet set. It's not really a set set, but they go really well together. That's going to come with it. So it's this bracelet, pink. Kind of reminds me of the 80s. This necklace, which has a flip-flop on it and um, some glass beads, little crystals. Actually, actually, these are crystals. These are probably Austrian crystals. They're light pink and has the toggle. And these are different beads. And then it has the little flip-flop charm. Isn't that cute? It's like all pale pink. I don't know if you can tell with these beads, but they are really nice. They have this weird iridescent, not iridescent, it's hard to explain, but it's really cute. <laughs> That's how I'm going to explain it. It's cute. And they look like different colors, but they're actually really close in color. See how it has like a clear um, edging around them? But they are actually really close in color. It's just hard to tell from my lighting. Okay. Then also you're going to get these little flip-flop. They're brand new post earrings with little pink earrings. These are new, but they're green flip-flops with polka dots. Aren't they cute? And then you'll get these little um, orangey and peach colored new earrings. So you'll get these. Plus a little cute necklace and pretty much matching bracelet. I know it you can't really see it in the lighting. And then, of course, your makeup and chocolates in the heart. That also comes, that's just one of them that I have for $10. And it'll come like that with a Valentine card. So I have... That's my last teen one that I have. So if anyone would like that one, it's $10. You tell me when to ship it to that person and I'll ship it. And I think that the nail color is really cute, actually. <laughs> it's a pink glitter. It's a really pretty pink glitter, actually. It's cruelty-free. And it's a pretty light... It's a light pink neutral lip gloss. Kind of goes with your lip color too. Thank you. I know. I love spring. I can't wait. Can't wait. And I love flip flops. I'm actually wearing them right now with my socks. Let me show you guys. It's not that cold here right now. <laughs> I wear flip flops basically year-round because <laughs> it's not that cold but it's it can get cold in my opinion so it's all pretty pink I just love it anyways all of that it's ten dollars so you get all the fashion jewelry basically it's all new it's all gonna be wrapped up um, you can give these away if she doesn't like them but this little set is really cute the flip-flop one it's, it looks, I don't know, like a weird color. I don't know, but it, it's actually a really pretty pink. So this one's 10, and that's my last teenager one that I put together. Unless you tell me, and I'll put another one together. Otherwise, the other ones are just 10, um, which comes with fashion jewelry that's either crystal, glass, or Hallmarked, um, and then it comes with the normal, you know, heart makeup, all wrapped like this. They're all 10. I just wanted to do something special for the teenager one. Okay. <clears throat> I think I want to... Let me see Oh, boy. I love spring. Hold on, guys. I want to show you guys something. 
this is the kitchen I want. <laughs> it's not, not that I have the money for it. Let me make that straight. I don't have the money for it, but wouldn't that be nice? The only reason I don't have open shelves now is because of my cats. Um, but at some point I could. I just don't want to take down my cabinets. I like my cabinets. It's just that if I if I had the chance, I would like to do open shelving, you know? Um, that would be nice. Here's another kitchen I like. I like that one too. I like the woods. I like woods a lot. Wood, black, cream. Those are my colors. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Here's another little set. I'm going to sell this set for $3. It's quite the deal. You could send it to a Valentine. I'll put it in like, um, oh, it's one of my little Valentine Ziploc bags. Um, this is glass. It's green glass earrings. One, two, three, four pieces of glass on the earring. Um, and then a matching bracelet. So they're like a lime green. Here is the bracelet. It's like a snake bracelet, but it's like that lime green, little turquoise or teal color, black roll bracelet. So this set is $3 if anyone's interested. $3, it does match. The green in the earring match, I don't know if you can tell, the green in the bracelet. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Diane. Diane, let me write that down. So we're gonna call it Lime Green Bracelet Glass Earring. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on with the jar real quick. This is all new jewelry. All brand new jewelry. If you want to start your own channel or oh, I guess the tape on the outside kind of left a little impression on the outside of this vase. So I have it in a vase. Um, <coughs> sorry, you guys. I still have a weird little cough every now and then. I think I was sick. <laughs> I think I thought it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I put everything in baggies because you know how anal I am. I put things in baggies all the time. Um, separating everything, everything, everything in here is brand new, not worn. You could start. I've gotten all these pieces from various places. None of this is from my dad's collection. I've gotten it from everywhere. It's a jar I am proud of where you could like literally start your own little jewelry channel. Everything's separated. Everything is clean. Everything is new. There's no wear on it. That's That drives me crazy if there's wear on pieces of jewelry. It's like don't sell it. Put it in a craft lot. Don't sell it, right? I get so frustrated with that. No, this is all brand new. Um, two of them are, there's two earrings on here that came already on the cards. And then I put one on cards because it was brand new. So here it is. Now, it's all brand new. All brand new, everything from, it's all fashion. It's all fashion. It's gunmetal, grays. That is a Charming Charlie set in there. It's brand new. Card's still on it, too. Everything is brand new, you guys. I'm really, really anal with this kind of stuff. Um, it's very, it's seed bead. It's gunmetal gray. It's um, acrylic. 
It's, I can't see that. What is, oh, faux pearls and lace. Um, I know you can't see in here, but there's all these beautiful necklaces and everything. Bracelets, earrings, sets. Um, this is on top. Rose gold. These are new. There's this bracelet. This is brand new. It's seed bead purple that has the matching earrings. I, you probably can't see the color, but it's purple. It's actually a very purple purple, and it looks blue in the <laughs> camera. Anyways, it is a lot in here. I won't send it with the vase unless you want it, but um, that would just add to the weight. If I did flat rate, that would be okay. But everything in here... Okay, this, ooh, I'm, I'm either going to do it auction style or just sell it for a certain price because um, there are some really nice pieces in here, very nice. Everything is brand new, like I said. So I'm pretty meticulous. I think you guys have gotten to know me about the, uh, that about me. I'm going to start this. Oh, yeah, the purple one. I forgot, Cricket. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Let me take it out. <laughs> um, anyways, it's everything. Earrings, earring and necklace sets, bracelets. I mean, it's everything. So I'm going to start this as an auction style for 25 because I know the value in here. I know what I paid for everything. Um, it's all brand new. And if anyone wants to start it at 25, then we'll start it at 25. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. Everything's in baggies because I'm super particular with that. Enamel wear is in here. 25. Miss Cricket is in at 25. Anyone at 26? 27. Thank you. I mean, it's definitely a lot in here, and they have cards on a lot of them. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, five, five or six things on cards. And, you know, I'm super anal, you guys. Everything is clean. Everything is new. Nothing is not, everything is wearable. No tarnish. If there is, please let me know. Good night, Trisha. I'll see you at your next auction. <laughs> okay, so we have 27 from Michelle O. And then 28 from Cricut. Um, so the brands are, gosh, it varies. I mean, Ch Charming Charlie, Charlotte Russe. Um, this brand, I don't remember. Um, what's it called? Like express on the bracelets. Um, a lot of things I don't know. They were just kind of like no namers. 30 from um, Cricket. 31 from Michelle. Oh, you guys, I got to plug in my laptop. Just the seed bead alone. Do you know how much work? I mean, you guys know Gianna. You know how much work goes into seed bead. And this is brand new. It's gorgeous. I think I think Cricket just wants this. <laughs> she wants this. <laughs> it's actually really pretty purple. It's coming off really blue. But look at that. So well made. Beautiful. And the earrings. Very nice. Hold on, guys. I got to plug in my computer, my laptop. Let me plug this puppy in. 
I'll be back one second. Let me get it plugged in here. Let me plug it in over here. Oh, oh, that's sore. Okay, sorry. If I complain I'm sore, it's because I've been working with my dad and his friend, and it's been oh, a lot of work, and I'm sore. Ouch! So we got 32 with, oh, Becky's in for 32. And these are like uh, rose colored earrings. They're new. I think these were from Charlotte Russe also. I'm not sure though, because it, um, they didn't have the card. Let's see, what else can I pick out of here? Ooh, I love this. I love this. Oops. 36 from Becky. 35 from Cricut and 36 from Becky. This is that mesh gunmetal and stainless on the inside, but in a gunmetal color. And then the outside is like a mesh. New. Okay. If it reaches 40 then I will add something special to it. Oh, yes. I'm going to add this. But it has to reach 40. What size is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so 36 from Becky. Anyone? Oop. So everything is new. Everything. I mean, there are sets in here you could pair together and sell it together. Um, it's a lot of great gifts, too. You could just piece it out and do gifts. So, you know, I'm not going to put junk in here. Everything is either a set. It's all new. I've been buying from all of you ladies new pieces. Some pieces I have found and kept um yeah it's a good jar thank you okay so michelle is out so becky i think you are the one becky you get this for 36 congratulations congratulations becky all right, I'm I'm not gonna mail it with this. Ran out of birthday cash. <laughs> oh, cricket! <laughs> oh, cricket! I know, I know. And cricket, you're trying to source too. So I'll be doing another one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, Becky. I'm not gonna send it with the jar because I think it's gonna. I mean, no one wants this jar. It's actually kind of cool because it has little X's. If you want it, let me know, and I'll, I'll definitely wash it and get the stickiness from the tape that was on here. See right here? Just let me know. Thank you. Okay, so Becky. How much was that? 36. Okay, Miss Becky. So I'm just going to call it New Jewelry jar yay no jar okay got it all right so that is yours awesome thank you becky i'm gonna put it here down here Alrighty. now i thought about building a jar with you guys okay guys i'm gonna sh let you in on my dirty little secret because i've been sick and having to work can you guys see my dishes? Look at the dishes. Those are my gloves. The pink things are gloves. But look at the dishes in my sink. I never leave dishes in my sink. I don't want my tenants to leave dishes in my sink. But, excuse me, I have been sick and working hard and I'm really sore and I don't care. I will wash them tonight. <laughs> okay. 
The next thing, I'm going to build a jar with you guys here. I know it's a darker jar. I wish it wasn't dark. In fact, let me see if I can. Do you guys care that it's like amber colored? You may not care, but I'm just going to build it with you guys, okay? So you can see what's going into this one. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I have quite a few things that kind of got ready for this one. Um, and I'm going to show you as I build it. Just for fun. I think this would be fun. It's going to be a little bit of everything. So I hope... Um, I... I'm I'm not lazy, but I swear I don't know what's going on with me. Like I feel like I'm exhausted all the time. And I mean I do have a lot on my plate, but I think my norm is not the norm of many. Like when I tell my sister what I do, she's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, but that's my sister. <laughs> she actually does a lot too, though. I I I, I shouldn't say that. Okay, let's build this jar, guys. All right, so I'm going to do some enamel wear. And as I'm building this, you guys can tell me, what would you like in this jar? Um, these are all brand new earrings. They're all enamel wear. Um, oh, where did that? Shoot, where did the bracelet go to match it? Hold on, because there is a bracelet that goes, oh, here we go. Yes. You know, I'm kind of anal, you guys, so I want everything to kind of, oh, okay. So would you guys rather not know what's in it? Because I'm just going to build it with you all. I thought I'd just do something different. But if you don't want to know, that's cool, too. We have these three earrings. They're all new. They're all enamel. This is cream with gold. These are, like, um, yellow with gold. And then these are, oops, black with silver. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then I have a matching bracelet by J. Crew that matches the earrings very nicely. Enamel cream. So that will go with that. So I'm going to put these four pieces in here. Um, I'm just going to build it with you guys. This is kind of fun, actually. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to put... I want to mix it up. I don't want it to all be the same thing. Oh, here's my other rhinestone earrings I was looking for. These will be separate, but these are also going to be um, $6. These are vintage articulated, if anyone's interested. They are vintage. I, I couldn't find them earlier. Okay, we're going to put this new um, bracelet. It's like a spring, and um, I think it's faux halite. Let me double check. Yeah, it's faux halite. It's a cute bracelet. We're going to, with um, little butterflies and these little rings. They're crystal spacers. We're going to put that in there. So let's start this off at, hold on, we'll, we'll start it off at in a second. Oh, thank you, Lynn. <laughs> Here's a, now all, most of this is brand new, by the way. This would be, actually, this would be great with the blouse I'm wearing. It's brand new. It's um, stainless steel and acrylic and some silver tone, but it's all gunmetal color, and I just tangled it. 
Hold on. <laughs> it's tangled. How did it get tangled? Wow. Oh. Hold on, guys. Because this is really pretty. I want to put it in there. I don't know if you guys can hear my dog snoring, but she is snoring. Let's see. I think I got it. I think I got it. Ugh, I can't get it. Hold on. I think I got it. Okay, well, I'll wait on that one. We're going to put a very long necklace in it. Um, gosh, every time I want to undo a necklace, it just gets tangled. It's very long. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like pastels. And it's got little, these are glass beads. And this one's long. This is new, too. It is probably, I don't know, 50 inches, I think. It's like light pink, white, clear. We're going to put that in there. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's very long. I would double it up, or you can wear it long like this. Okay, it has some articulated. I need a baggie, though. I hate putting things in without baggies, and this has a big baggie. I don't like big baggies. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, my baggies are under my laptop. Hold on, guys. Oh. Okay, sorry. I need to put, I can't not put things in baggies. Plus, you guys can reuse them. Okay. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on. I have a fashion um, cameo. It's also a pendant. Pendant cameo brooch. Okay. Is this guys, is this fun, you guys? Oh, it's a long necklace, Becky. <gasps> My cats are being absurd. Okay, now this is a matching set. Um, I believe, where's my, where is my, um, I can't find it. Anyways, it's, I believe this is um, stainless, new, it's in gunmetal, and then matching hoop earrings that are new. I just put them in plastic because that's me. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in here. Oh, let's see. Let's make a pretty, pretty jar. Okay. Is this fun, you guys, or no? If it's not fun, I'm having fun. Oh, I want to save this. Okay, I want to save that. Oh, yes, and I forgot. Okay, good. This is brand new. It is, I thought at first when I got it, it was a Pegasus or Unicorn, but it's not. It is a, just a horse on a new chain. Where's my mannequin? <clears throat> 
It's so cute. And if you have a teenager. Okay, thank you. That's new. That's going in there. I would also like to throw some silver in there, but that's going to be at the end. Okay. This I should sell separately, but I'm just so tempted to put it in here. It's really beautiful. Okay, maybe I'll sell it separately. Hold on. Let me grab this bin. Now I have silver, but I'm going to add one piece at the end. Maybe two. This is a very pretty, dainty... Um, dual necklace. It's new. It's in a faux pearl, purple pearl, with little dingle dingles. I hope you could see the purple. That's new. I'm going to add that in there. In the bag, of course. Okay, I want to add some stones in there because I think it needs a little bit of stones. Oh, and more fashion jewelry. Okay, this is getting fun for me too. Okay, here is a fashion. Actually, this is a vintage pin uh, brooch. It is fashion though, but it is vintage. And it's a little cameo brooch. It's acrylic, but it is old. The... The pin is longer than the outside part, but you can tell by that. I need to put it in a baggie, which is right here. That's going in there. I want to add some stones. So you guys have to remember all that's going in here. Okay? Because I am not remembering. But I also knew I wanted to do this with you guys. Ooh, ooh, get down in there. Okay. Now here is the stone bracelet. It has um, carnelian, uh, some glass beads. Um, there are some acrylic beads. There's some yellow, oh, what are they called? Yellow agate. Um, what else? So it's like a multi-stone, but it's multi-stone and acrylic. Oh, it's Mexican quartz. And it's one of those memory bracelets. Okay. Very pretty. That's going in there. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, shoot, I almost forgot. That necklace, the purple necklace, had matching earrings. So these are the earrings. They're new. Every, this is all new. These are the earrings to that necklace. So hold on. I need a little baggie. Because I don't want them to get separated. Hold on, guys. I'm going to lift you up. I need a baggie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Baggy. Those are for the earrings. That goes in there. Okay. Oh, oh, I want to add a very specific pair of earrings in here. 
They are brand new. They look like sterling silver. They're not, but they look like they are. Um, hold on, guys. I know they're here somewhere. Here's my Nutri-Grain bar, which I don't normally eat, but my dad brought them. They're kind of sweet, though. They're too sweet. Okay, I can't find it, but I will. All right, we'll keep going. Ah, yes. We're going to put in this stainless steel clamper bracelet. It's Dolphins. Let me show you. Isn't it cute? We're going to put that in there. This is a big base, you guys. So it's got quite a lot in it. All right. We're going to do this set. We're going to do some new earrings that you guys can resell. They are new. They are on cards. This one, they're gold. They're stainless steel with gold tone. And these are also stainless steel with a lighter gold tone. So I'm going to put both of those in there. Okay. I'm going to put this set, which is also seed bead in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope this goes for a nice amount. I'm going to put this vintage pin. No. I don't think anyone will like that one. Um, do I want to put this in there? Hold on. Let me hold off on this set. Hold on. And if you guys ever want to see a watch jar from me, let me know. Because sometimes I don't know what to show you guys if you'd be interested or not, you know? Hold on, you guys. There's something very specific I want to put in here, and I'm not finding it. Oh. All right, since we have some purple stuff in there already, we're going to add these two purple things. Um, this is a purple stainless steel. I know it doesn't look purple for my lighting, but it is really true purple. It has a B on it. And I don't know what the brand is, but it has like, um, I think it's like a little crown. I can't remember. Or Tree of Life or something. So I'm going to put that in there along with this purple necklace that I'm going to show you. So it's a cuff, I should say. A cuff. That one was new. This is the same beads as the purple ones I showed you before, or the pink ones, um, the teenager one that I showed you. I can't, I don't know what they're called. They look blue on here, but they're actually, these are cream. Then this is um, a frosted pale lavender, and it does have a crystal, a lavender crystal, which is probably, actually this is, this is rose quartz. A young rose quartz. And then you have two glass beads right here. It's a wire wrap. And it has beautiful toggle and some more glass beads. You could take it apart, but I like it the way it is. That's going to be in there. <coughs> Actually, I need to take it back. Okay. And there is something, okay, we're going to add these two things because they kind of go together. I think they're very pretty. Um, this is fashion, and I'm going to pair it with these earrings. They go nicely, I would say. 
very nicely. They have, they're all like goat. They're actually stainless steel with gold tone over it and then um, crystals, rhinestones. So it's this necklace, the eagle with rhinestones, stainless steel pendant, this pretty necklace. I'm going to pair it with, let me pull it back, these earrings that are also stainless steel infinity rings and rhinestone. So that's all going in there. I know it's probably random, but I'm trying to like piece things together. So if you do try to sell these things, it's like, wait, let me, yeah. Um, at least you have some sets, things that coordinate. You know what I mean? Oh, let me put the backs back on. Where'd they go? These are really pretty earrings, actually. I don't know if you guys are keeping track of all this. I hope you are, but there's a lot in this jar because it was a very big jar. Uh oh, I lost the back on the other one. Where'd it go? Okay, well, I'll find it. Okay, and those were like brand new. Okay, only a few more things are going to fit in here. There's quite a bit, as you guys remember what we all put in here and we'll add a piece of silver. Let's get to a certain point first because I want to see if it'll get to that point. We need some brooches in here. We need brooches and I have a few. that I would like to add <sighs> in honor of Kim. Okay. So I have this brooch pendant that's going to go in there. Um, I guess that's a Taurus. Is that a Taurus? I can't remember what the sign is. But it's actually a stone. No, it's acrylic made to look like stone. Yes. So, yes, a little piece of silver if it reaches a certain price. Okay, so it's going to be this. Let me put it in a baggie. I don't like when things rub up against each other because then they'll get damaged. You know what I mean? That bothers me, too. Oh, shoot. I need a little baggie. Where are my little baggies? Okay, we're just going to put it in this one for now. Okay, that, oh, centaur, it's a centaur. What is, is that a sign? <laughs> I'm so, I don't know. Okay, this is, let's see, this is, is this Trafari? No, it is, I can't tell, I can't remember either. Oh, incline, so this is an incline leaf pin. It's like brand new, you guys. In honor of sweet Kim Webster, I'm putting this in there. And Klein. Okay. I'm running out of the bags I wanted to use for this size. Well, here we go. Here we go. Will that fit? Yeah. Actually, let's use this one. Incline. Okay. We are going to put, I thought this was silver actually. It's not. Um, but it's like a stainless steel, one of those neck thingies, which I love. And it's twisted so you can put, you can put something on it or not. Um, It's stainless. Hi, Joe. Libra. Okay, good to know. 
I'm gonna shove that in the top there. Oh my God, there's a lot in here, you guys. Let's add a fashion ring. This is brand new. It's really pretty, actually. It is an adjustable ring. It's brand new. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. <laughs> That's going to go in there. We're going to put it in this baggie. I don't know where all my baggies. I have bag upon bags, and I don't know where they're at, but we're just going to put it in this one for now. So we're getting near the top here, as you can see. It's pretty full. You guys remember everything I put in here. Bangles, earrings, brooches, necklaces. Uh, what are these called? These neck thingies. New earrings. Oh, let's see. Hmm. One more little brooch. Um, it is a Canadian <laughs> maple. This is a vintage one. Brooch. Uh oh, it just opened. Hold on. Maple leaf. I'm going to put that in there as well. Okay. Now, that's, let's add one more thing. Let's add these brand new earrings. I didn't, let me put them on a card though, because I think they should go on the card. Here we go. These are brand new. They are silver and brass. Not silver, silver, not 925. Look how pretty they are. They're like Marrakesh. They are new. So that's going to go in there. All right, guys, let's see. Put it on the side. Put it on the side. All right, so a ring, all that. If it reaches a certain price, then I will sell this one or have a, a silver piece go in it. If it goes above and beyond, I'll put another silver in it, okay? So you guys saw me build it. It's a good jar. Um, let me put all this stuff away so I can get to... Okay, you guys saw this. I wanted to add two more things. Hold on. Now I can't find them. They were brand new. Oh, here we go. So these are brand new nail polishes, red. And this one is like a pearlescent fuchsia color. These are gonna go in here too. I don't know why I'm putting them in here, but I thought it would be fun. <laughs> okay, let's start this one at 30. If And there's real stone, various metals. Most of it is brand new. Uh, a lot of things are on the card. There's a little cameo. I think there's two cameos in here. Um, clamper bracelets, brooches, and Klein. You name it. You saw me build it. My screen darkened when the battery flashed and your hair looked like you had shoulder length. A bob? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, 30 from Cricut. Anyone else? There are lots of new earrings on here on a card. There are stones. There are cameos, two fashion cameos, clamper bracelet, in stainless steel, um, earring and necklace set, cuff, this, I don't know what these are called. What are these called? Whatever. That's what they're, that's called. You know, one of these. <laughs> um, 
earrings, necklaces, uh, da, 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 da. Um, stainless steel ear, earring, hoop earrings and bracelet in the gunmetal color, brand new. Long, long necklace. I mean, there, almost everything in here is brand new. Oops. There's only a couple of pieces that are oops, um, vintage, which are the brooches. And then this um, necklace cuff. Necklace cuff. Nail polishes are brand new. Um, gosh, I don't even remember everything that's in here now, but you guys kind of saw it. that centaur brooch pendant, um, earrings, lots of things on cards, lots of things to sell. Anyone else? 30 crickets got it in for 30. All right, let's sweeten the pot maybe. Okay, these are potato pearls, earrings. We're gonna add those also, they are new. I can't remember if these are silver because I can't find my magnet and I did not test them, but they could be, I just didn't test them, but they could just be um, stainless steel wire too. I just don't remember, but they are potato pearls, freshwater potato pearls. So I'm going to add those in there. Okay. Oops. We'll put them in here. Well, I'm going to put them. No, I don't want to put them on top without something. And then we'll move on, guys. We'll move on from the jars. Because jars aren't everyone's thing. Okay, we'll put them in here. Okay. I mean, there are more than 30 pieces in here, I believe, maybe. Um, so that's like a dollar a piece, and it's all good stuff. All new, almost all new. Stones, fashion, things on cards. A lot of things in the middle. Things I coordinated in sets. There's a necklace set. What is that? Oh, these are earrings. Clamper bracelet. A lot of things. So if no one else wants it, we're going to sell it to Cricut for $30. Thank you, Cricut. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I hope you do well with this. And I'm not going to send it with a vase because I think that would be too heavy. I'm going to send this flat right. <laughs> Thank you, Cricket. All right. Where's my pen? Okay, Cricket. I'm just going to put jewelry jar. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to add a surprise on there, too. So thank you, Cricket. So that's my other jar. That was fun building it with you guys. I have to admit, <laughs> I liked that. That was fun. Okay. And guys, I don't sell junky jewelry because it drives me crazy when I get junky jewelry. Drives me crazy. It's like, why did you? Why did you sell this to me? <laughs> All right, I have some Avon here, and I have some um, Valentine stuff too. Let's do some Avon and some Valentine. Now, if you all would like this, it's a hat pin, lapel pin, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's a little stainless steel gold heart pin with the bottom. These are usually missing.
this one's going to be four dollars if anyone's interested if you collect these or know someone who collects them that one's four and i'll put it in plastic too i always put them in plastic sheaths over it okay now we'll move on to some avon that was fun i'm sorry it took so long um i i I thought I was like prepared for it, but sorry guys. Okay, here's some Avon pieces. Um, one of them looks like an Avon Jade um, Elephant. I paid way too much for this because I thought it was Jade, but it's actually Avon. And um, thank you, Cricut. So I just love it because it looks like Jade, but it's also a pin. It's like brand new. But it is Avon. And it says Avon even on the little back part, the pin. I don't know if you could see it. Okay. I'm going to sell this as a lot. Unless you guys don't want me to sell it as a lot. If you don't like something, just say, hey, would you sell it separately? Here's an Avon um, stainless steel ring with abalone. And it has like... Um, a ring sizer in it. I probably should just sell these separately, huh? Let's do that. Okay, so this abalone ring, we're going to sell it for $5 if anyone's interested. It's brand new. I don't have the box for it, but it is does have the ring sizer or adjuster on the inside. It is abalone and stainless steel. I love elephants too, which brings me to my giveaway soon. So that's five, and it's vintage Avon. This little elephant, it's going to be $5. I paid 10 because they sort of alluded that it was Jade, but it's actually Avon. <laughs> Uh, but it's beautiful. It is really beautiful. So that's five, and it is a vintage piece. This other Avon piece that I have, just say want and tell me which one. It does look like Jade. This is a brooch, but it's also a um, cologne holder from Avon. So it's a cameo brooch. It's an excellent condition. And I don't think they ever use the cologne in here. It has that look to it that they never, ever used it. But it smells nice. It sort of smells like Estee Lauder's Youth Do which is a very classic scent. This one's going to be $10, but it's like brand new. I don't think they even touched the cologne. Isn't that pretty? Okay. No one wants any of those. I'm going to put these away. I do have more Avon, but I couldn't find it. Everything is a mess in my house, you guys. <clears throat> okay, let's do a little giveaway. This is a vintage piece, but it is an elephant, and it is pewter. Right? Yeah. It's from 1982, and it says, I love elephants on one side. And it says, um, da, 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 da. Uh, it says, Raw Cliff Pewter, 1982. It's incorporated. Okay. And it has beautiful design on the actual elephant. Isn't that nice? So the other side, so it's pewter, 
The other side says, um, I love elephants, and then it has all the info. Raw Cliff, Pewter, 1982. And I think the chain, <laughs> if I could find my magnet, I would tell you, uh-oh, what it is. But I can't seem to find, oh, here we go. Here's the magnet. So the chain, it's really nice, actually. It looks brand new, and it, but it's silver tone. It's a twist chain. You can take it off, but the actual elephant is pewter. So this is going to be a giveaway. And I am going to, how many people are in here? There's only eight. Okay. Well, it's fine. No problem. Hold on. Let me pick up what I just dropped, though. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I could ask a question, but some of you know me better than others, so I won't do that. Let's just do the numbers. Um, let's see, pick a number between, thirty five and seventy five. Only one number, only one number. Start. I sorry, you guys, my lips are really chapped. Between 35 and 75, one number. And you guys can get the, whoever gets the closest will get the pewter elephant. Okay. I'm gonna write it, where should I write it? Hold on, I'm not gonna look at you guys because I need to, I can't do, You guys, that's it. That's the only people that have, well, let's see how many people are doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There's four others of you on here. Please feel free to put your numbers in. I'll give you another like 30 seconds. It's between um, 35 and 75. <laughs> I know I picked weird numbers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wish I had some um, cashews right now. Okay, no one else? Okay, so the closest, well, I'll show you the number. Seventy-two. So we have sixty-nine. 70, 71, 72, that's three away. Then we have 75. So we have 73, 74. So each of you are equally close. Okay, well, with, in that case, I will send you both something. I'm not going to tell you, each of you, which one I'm sending what, but one of you will get this. Little sweet elephant. And then the other one will get the other thing. <laughs> so hold on, I gotta write this down because if I don't write them down. So congratulations to Cricket and Daisy. You guys were kind of like tiebreakers. Um, so let's see. Uh, prize winner, zero. Daisy, prize winner. So I'm just going to put one person gets pewter elephant and the other person will get something else. Thanks, guys. I hope each of you like your gift. I'm going to put it back in the baggie. 
I love elephants too, mainly because they are so majestic. They are so archaic, so intelligent. I mean, my God, they're so like from basically like the dinosaur years, you know, mammoth and all of that, but they're just, oh, I just love them. I love them so much. Thank you guys. Congratulations. All right, so let's keep going. So I do, as I mentioned before, a couple times before, guys, I said I have um, these earrings that my friend had made. They are ceramic. They are little owls. And the hooks are surgical steel. They are $5 if anyone's interested. So there's these owls. And I think she only has two. I think two pairs of these left that she told me. Then of the beads that she gave me to show you guys, where are they? Right here. Okay, I'm sorry. She only has one pair of those left. Sorry, one pair. And then she has two pairs of these. These are like, they remind me of the Mexican uh, pottery, which I love. Um... Oh, how come that's stuck in there? And it's ceramic, these little owls. So they're these royal blue and white owls. These remind me of Mexican pottery, which I, I really love. So they're these. These are $5. The other ones are $5. I have two of the ones I just showed you. Um... I have abalone earrings. They're fire glaze abalone. They have sterling silver shepherd's hook. So I'm just showing you one that she put on like a little, I don't know, metal piece to show you guys. So there's these. And these are abalone. And they're very thick, as you can see. And they will have the sterling silver hook to them. These are going to be $10. I don't know if you can see the color. They're beautiful. They're fire glaze abalone. And then there's these, also $10. Um, they're like a teardrop. They're also fire glazed. These are also will be $10 with the sterling silver shepherd's hook so she just gave me a couple of these to show you guys i've sold quite a few of them she was very happy and thank you um i really love these look how thick they are in the back and they're not heavy anyways there's these ten dollars each and then i have these little howlite Turtle earrings, $5 each for the earrings. And I have pink, red, and white, and lime green. Oh, and orange. Sorry, she gave me one of each. Here's the lime green. I don't know if you could see the color. Here's the red howlite. These will be with surgical steel. earrings. These are the orange. They're cute. Um, that's the turquoise ones I showed you. There's cream. It's like an oatmeal color. And I think that's all for the colors. And then there's one more pair, she said, of the blue ceramic, which I love ceramic. These are the little turtles, and these are also five. So either halite or ceramic in owls, turtles, and then you have the, what are they called? Abalone in the fire glaze, and with sterling silver um, shepherd's hook. 
Okay, want turtle earrings pink and red. Okay, thank you. Pink and red. Let me write that down. Thank you, Jennifer. Let's see, Jennifer. Pink and red. Turtle halite earrings. Thank you so much. Yay! She'll be she gets so happy too. <laughs> so pink and red. Got it. Okay. Did I show the pink? Oh wait, here's the pink. That's the pink. Oh, I can't see. There we go. Pink. Pink and red. Okay. <clears throat> I think I have all the colors. Yep. Okay. Abalone. Joe Sorensen. Which abalone, Joe? Did you like the teardrop or did you like the long, long ones? So the long ones, they're both fire um, glazed, but one is long and one is a teardrop. Long. Okay. Thank you. So long for Joe, Joe Sorensen, um, long abalone. Thank you so much. They're beautiful. Actually, I have a pair. I should have worn them. I should wear them when I talk to you guys. But all right. So that's all of, I only have one, or she only has, that she told me of, one pair of the ceramic turtles, the blue ones. Thank you, Jennifer. This is the only ceramic turtle I have left, she said. Or, you know. Can you show again? Which one? The abalone? Okay, abalone. Here is the teardrop. And she says she matches them up really well, as best as she can. Look how thick they are. There's that one, and then there's this long one. They're both fire glazed, abalone. Isn't that pretty? They're pretty. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> Okay, any that's left. So um, I have the abalone in the teardrop and the long. Then we have, hold on, I gotta read my notes here. The pink one, the pink turtles are gone, but I have red, orange, lime green. Oopsie. oopsie. Here is the lime green. Good night, Jennifer. That's the red ones, the orange. The, they're both 10 lin on the abalone. Cream. Turquoise. These are all abalone. I mean, how light, excuse me. And then the ceramic one. And the turtle. So, and then this pair left. She only has this. This is the last pair of the ceramic um, owls. And then these. She has, what is this, two pairs of these. And then these are both 10 for the abalone. They're both fire glazed. They're both very thick. As you can see, and they'll have sterling silver for the hook. So it's your choice.
one of each halite turtles. Okay, so um, let's see. So then the lime green, right? The oatmeal cream, the orange, red, and turquoise, right? And one long abalone. Ooh, I love these too. Okay, thank you, Lynn. So I have one long abalone. I have the light lime green. I know you can't see the color right now, but they are lime. The oatmeal color. The orange. The orange is really pretty, actually. The turquoise. And red. Oh, she's going to be happy. Especially when she knows they go to one person. She's She gets really happy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five on the turtles. Thank you, Lynn. And one, let's see, Lynn. So we have five turtles. Lime, orange, red, cream, turquoise. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then one long abalone sterling. Okay. Yay. Oh, and one owl. Which owl? Did you want this one? These little chubby ones? Or these, which look like Mexican pottery, which is probably my favorite. So just say um, the one on the card or the other one. They all have feathers on the back, too. <laughs> they're so cute. And they're both chubby. Oh, look it. They're cute. They are cute, actually. So just say card or other. Okay, this one. Yeah, I, I like this one a lot, too, because it really has an authentic pottery look. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to call it Owl. Got it. Thank you so much. She's going to be super happy. Yay! She will be happy. <laughs> okay. So I got those. Thank you so much, ladies. Let me put these away. These will be great. And I will put them on a card. Um, like these for her with a plastic sheath over it. So if you want to give them as gifts, then you can. Or sell them. So that'll be nice. All right, let me put these in here so I know. <clears throat> these are my sample pieces that she gives me. Okay, guys, so what else I have to show you? Is more fashion and more silver. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to separate this. Okay. Alrighty, let me put these away. Those are my samples, which are cute. Oh, that's a bead. I don't remember where that bead goes to. Okay. 
these are my little samples. I don't want to, she, she said I could keep the samples, but I'm just going to give them back to her once we're done because that way she can make something out of them. You know what I mean? Chili bean. Thank you so much. She's going to be very happy. She, she doesn't have any social media, so she'll be very happy. <clears throat> okay, guys. There we go. All right, so more fashion that I have is, hold on, I need, I need some junk food nourishment. Baked potato. <laughs> I think that's the only kind of potato I like, to be honest. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the crunching sound. Oh, wait. I sold that. Sorry, I'm just separating everything so I know what to sell and what has been sold. These have not been sold. Okay, okay I do have some brooches here. I have a Sarah Coventry one. Um, and some silver. And I'm wearing some new silver ones, too, that I really love. They are vintage. I love these. They're like little balls, but they're just the right amount of dangles. I don't know. I like them. <gasps> I love veggie sticks. Are, are they from the Dollar Tree you're talking about? Because I love those. Mmm. They taste like Pringles to me, too. Okay, this sweet little kitty. I can't remember if it's marked or not, but... I thought it was, I almost thought it was like a, um, a cameo fragrance one, but it's not. It's a matte gold colored cat, and I'm just trying to see if I see any marking. I thought there was, uh, not that I can see. Okay, so we're going to say no, but this little kitty, the canned food store, What's a canned food store? No, you got the pink turtles. Did I not write pink? Let's see. Lime, orange. Oh, the pink. Yes. There was only one more um, of pink left, and that was to um, Jennifer. Yes. Sorry. But... The red is beautiful, and the orange is the orange is really probably one of my. I, there was orange and yellow, and the or, the yellow is gone too. Um, who bought the yellow? I think Michelle. Yeah, unless she says she has more, which I can always let you know. But they are really cute. <laughs> so thank you so much. Here's a matte gold. And it's stainless steel with the gold tone on it. And then it has like little rhinestones here. I want to say this was an Avon piece, but it's not marked. So I'm going to say it's not. But gosh, it really looks like an Avon piece. Anyways, this one's five if anyone wants it, would like it. Isn't that cute? I know you guys are probably thinking, well, why aren't you keeping it? Because I have a lot of kitty brooches now. At one time, I didn't have any. Well, I had a few. But I have accumulated many. <laughs> 
And this one's very nicely made. So that one's five. Then I have a Sarah Coventry um, strawberry brooch. Now this you can sell for anywhere from like 30 to $40. The going price is about 35. It's Sarah Coventry. It's an excellent condition. I'm going to sell it for 20. It's a nice size. It so it says I'm sorry, Sarah Coventry right here. You can look it up. This one is in excellent condition. The ones I've seen for cheaper were not in good condition. And this one's going to be 20. Because that's still a lot of wiggle room for you to sell if you decide to sell it. The size of it is, um, I'm not going to say from the, the little stem, I'm going to say from the top, um, is about one and three quarters, and that's not including the little leaf either. Okay, and that's the Sarah Coventry. And I really actually like this one a lot. <laughs> if no one buys it, I might just keep it because I do like it. Okay, the next thing. is this little seahorse. It's a brooch and a pendant. And I don't think this one is sterling. I think it's, no, it's not, but it's a JJ. Yeah, oh, MJ, sorry, MJ. And it is, um, it's kind of hard to see the color. It's a silver tone color. It's stainless steel, but the little brooch part is um, silver tone. So it's stainless steel, silver, seahorse. It is vintage. It's by MJ. MJ right there on the fin. It is a brooch and a pendant. So you can fit a nice size necklace in that. Oops, pardon me. This one's going to be 15. It does have um, accents of gold on it, too, on the tip of the tail, the nose, mouth, and the fin. But it's 15. Hi, Miss. Hi, Miss Martha. How are you? The sweet little seahorse. Pendant brooch by MJ. It's a nice size. It is about, oh, and it has a rhinestone eye also. It is two and one quarter inch. You're good. The little buddies over, your little love bug is over there. He's Kind of sacked out next to Lucky right now. And the little nugget is still upstairs. I didn't, you know, she's been up there pretty much all day. But it was kind of a long day for her the night before. So I didn't want to. She can eat and drink and do her business up there. And I just wanted to leave her because she was cold. So I just, I've left her up there. So that one's 15. I'm good. I, I feel so much better. I was kind of sicky for a little bit, but I feel better. And I can't believe the animals are making any noise. That's amazing. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Okay, let me put these little brooches away.
Okay. All right, so I oh, showed you guys that one. Gosh, I've showed a lot tonight, huh? Oh, wait, I don't want to show that. Okay, that's a gift. Um, I think I'll wait on those. Okay, let me show some other things. Here's a vintage brooch. I think, if I remember correctly, Cindy, jewelry nurse, I've had two before, one in silver and one in gold. And I think she said that these are plated, but they aren't marked. Oh, okay. Thank you, Daisy. Let's see. The strawberry brooch and the elephant. Let me get the little elephant. Thank you, Daisy. Let me get a bag for the elephant. Little elefante. <laughs> I just love elephants. Here's a bag. Actually, that's not a new bag. I don't like when bags aren't new. I know that sounds weird, but um, when they aren't new, they get like a weird, they get like a dirty look to them, and I don't like that, so hold on. I think my dad and I are obsessed over bags because he keeps buying me bags. I keep buying bags. Well, I haven't in a while, but... Thank you so much. I just, um, I like to keep everything separated. This little Avon. The Avon thingy you can sell too, if you'd like, for a little more. Um, and definitely the strawberry too. Let me write this down before I forget. Thank you so much, Daisy. Daisy. Sarah. Coventry. Strawberry brooch. Okay, then we have the Avon faux jade elephant pin. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll put that in with your gift. Um, okay, there we go. Oops, thank you. Sounds like our house, bags everywhere. I know, we have, yeah, my dad, he'll buy, <laughs> he buys me bags like constant. I like bag time. So he'll say, oh, are you out of the large bags? I'm like, yeah, and he'll bring over more bags. <laughs> oh, I will, Martha. They are both um, the puppy and... Um, lucky or sacked out and the little nugget is upstairs and then I can't believe none of the cats are around me right now amazing <laughs> except Sarah is up here okay thank you so much Daisy alright so this I think is um, silver plated and um, it's a vintage brooch I put it on a card just because I think it looks nice and um, it's in excellent condition. I'm going to sell this one for five. I need to cut my nails. Look at They're all different lengths. Don't look. <laughs> so this one's five. Can't see the back, but it's etched. That one's five. Then I have a um, Mila Ferrani glass, red glass ring, and it's a size 8. I put it on a, um, one of these cards. And I don't know if you could see the design, but it's red with gold and a little bit of dark brown gold, black. I could take it out of here. I just, I was, um... I don't know. I got kind of bad crazy, I guess. <laughs> so this one's going to be $4 if anyone's interested. But it's Milliferrani Italian glass. 
I hope you can see it. The variations in the reds and the blacks and gold is really pretty. Size 8. That one's the size 8. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm almost done with my water. I'm proud, though, because I usually drink a lot of water, and then I have to go to use the restroom a lot. Maybe I should limit myself, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, the next thing, let's see. Let me show. I'm going to show this. Because I think this is definitely worthy. I I kind of put it out there um, with your specific taste in gemstones. But maybe people don't know what gemstones they like. So I'm just going to have my dad add a few of his gemstones in here for you guys. Probably, definitely some rose quartz. Because rose quartz has a lot of healing properties. And it's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Martha. I know. <laughs> They're just so cute over here. Um, what's her name? Um, Lucky was snoring really loud earlier. Okay, so this is a um, vintage Mexican silver um, filigree, which I love personally. And it is probably 800 silver, just so you guys know. Um, the length of the chain so I'm going to have my dad put some gemstones in here, just so you guys know. Uh, so it's 12. I think it's a 38 inch in length. And then it has the filigree purse, which, you know, these are, ex this is like an excellent piece. I mean, look at that work. I don't know if you could see. The thicker the silver that's like layers upon layers upon layers of them curling the silver around over and over again to get that thickness. Isn't that crazy? And it does open. And it has beautiful work on the side too. So you can put in some gemstones. And it does snap shut. This reminds me of like a 1970s purse, which I, that brings back good memories for my mom. So this, with the gemstones inside, is going to be 50. I just doubled it up. But it's 800 silver from Mexico, and it is vintage. And you could sell this for a lot more. Um, if I don't sell it, then I probably will put it on my Etsy. And I'm gonna, my dad's gonna put in some um, stones in there. Thank you. I'm really fond of Mexican jewelry. Apps, they have excellent. They do excellent work. They really do, and they have excellent um, silver. So their silversmithing is awesome, like from Tasco and um, even their alpaca pieces, which is like zinc and nickel. I still love them. I love all of their things. So this with the gemstones will be 50. If you are interested, let me know. It's a very long chain. It's 800 silver. I am keeping one piece for myself. It's a big fish. If I decide to sell it, I'm going to put that on my Poshmark. <laughs> I mean Etsy. Excuse me, Etsy. I keep saying Posh. I mean Etsy. Okay. Hi, Gianna. How are you? I watched you earlier. That was so funny. Your sister was behind you. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
I love alpaca bracelets too, but the only problem I have is they're so small. They don't fit me right now. But I've saved a few because I want to wear them later once I lose weight. All of these things went um Yes, Daisy. The chain and the filigree purse is all 800 um, silver from Mexico. So, yes, I tested it. My dad tested it. I te Well, I tested it. He tested it also. And then they'll have the gemstones in it. She is planning on doing her. Oh, that's wonderful, Gianna. Gianna, is that your sister that lives in Salt Lake City or or closer to you? I can't remember. Edna. Okay. I have these earrings that are very, these are antique. Okay, thank you, Daisy. I'm glad you're getting it because this is kind of special to me. And... Especially, um, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Um, because my mom's from Mexico, and I love um, Mexican jewelry. That's all I'm going to say. Because I'm a weenie, and I'll cry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to fit in as many gemstones as we can. Um, different sizes. I'm not crying. I'm just sniffling. That's all. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay, purse. Um, necklace. With gems. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... I'm going to put that in a pretty package, too. I'm going to show you the piece I'm keeping because I love it. I don't know where I have it right now. I haven't even worn it because I tend not to wear the pieces because I, I get afraid to. Um, I'll show you before we um, end because I will have, I have to get up. It's behind me, but I love it. I... I tried selling it, and then I realized, why am I trying to sell this? I mean, it's the biggest one I've ever seen, and I can't find it anywhere. So, thank you. I know, I know, you guys. I'm such a weenie. Oh. Okay, not going to cry. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. All right, so we're going to go on. I'm just terrible. I know. I get so emotional. Oh, gosh. Um, we're going to show some fashion, but new fashion. Oh, my gosh. I just dropped that. But I need my mannequin. Where did I put the mannequin? Okay, I'm going to have to. Oh, here it is. This is brand new. Um, it's a collar, they call it, Peter Pan collar, or however you want to call it. Um, it's got the faceted black beads, which I think are glass. Yep. And then the mirrored ones, I think, are also glass. And I think the metal is, oh my gosh, where did I put my magnet? Here we go. Silver tone. Okay. So it's silver tone with glass faceted beads, and it's a collar necklace, and it's beautiful. I like collar necklaces. Like this is vintage, um, what's it called? Mother of Pearl. <laughs> I know, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm such a <laughs> I'm such a weenie. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm only crying because I love that kind of jewelry and um it just reminds me of my mom. I mean, I love I love Mexican jewelry. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. So here it is. 
It's heavy. It's really nicely made. It's all glass beads. Um, it's new. It has a bit of an extender in the back. Oh, wait. Where does it start from here? So you have like a two-inch extender. Um, or you can make it. I have it fully extended. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Oh, I think that'd be beautiful. With so many things. Um, and anyways, I am going to say for this one, let's do, I think, you know what? I think $5 is fair because you it's new, but you have all these glass beads that are faceted. And it's just beautiful. And the black ones are Arroyo Borealis. And then the silver ones are mirrored. It's just beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, Daisy. Gosh, I'm such an idiot. I mean, I, I can't not cry. I don't know what my problem is. I've gotten so much better. But I don't know. It's like my mom is just always there with me. And it's just kind of hard <laughs> for me not to cry. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible. And you know what? <laughs> if, if Whenever I talk to friends on the phone, if I get silent, it's because I'm crying. <laughs> I'm just such, I'm such an emotional person. I can't help it. <laughs> So this is five. <laughs> I know I I try not to be, but it's like oh my god, it's not me, you know. I I think it's why um, you know how a lot of people I really express my feelings and Sierra get down. And if I don't, I think I'd probably be de depressed because. I think everyone should express their feelings, but in different ways. I just happen to cry. My mom was a crier. I cry. My sister cries too. Um, but her and I are very different. <laughs> really, Lynn? Oh, my gosh. You too, Cricket? <sighs> yeah. Oh, hold on. Lucky has to go potty. I could tell. Come here, girl. You have to go potty? If, she, if I don't let her out, she will pee on the floor. Come here. Let's go. Let's go potty. Come on, baby. Let's go. Go potty. You gotta go potty. Go potty. Go. Go, go. Go pee pee. Go. Oh, it's been raining here. I didn't even know that. Okay. Oh. Oh, I know. You know what? I just found out. I just found out um, my really sweet tenant, the one that's a police officer, his dad passed away in, in September. I didn't even know. He didn't say anything. And um, his work guilted him into not taking time off. I'm like, how terrible. He had one day off to grieve. And he, his dad is in Egypt or was in Egypt. And so... I thought, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. So I feel really bad. So I'm going to write a nice little card for him and then for his mom. Um, uh, I just didn't know, you know. He, he doesn't – we don't we don't get to talk very often, but um, I felt so bad because I, I can't – he's so young. He's so young. I mean – He's 27, I think, and I'm 47, and I still have my dad. Thank God. So I'm so lucky, I feel like. So lucky. Yeah, and he's definitely law enforcement, so that's terrible. We're seeing. 
Okay, she's gonna have to wait. Anyways, if anyone would like, it's very well made, very well made. It's very heavy. It's five dollars. If anyone would like it, um, I like that it has kind of a V, a little bit. It's pretty. Oh, thank you, Martha. <laughs> Let me go get Lucky. Come here, girl. Lucky, come on. Oh, you're up. No, don't you dare eat. try to eat that. <laughs> That's not for you to eat. You're okay. You're okay, girl. You're good. You're fine, little girl. <sighs> I felt so bad for him, though. Poor thing. So, anyways. <clears throat> All right, we're going to move on. Um, okay, that's a heavy one. We have, it's like a Charming Charlie necklace. And let me make it a little bit shorter. I'm, we're gonna, it's like faux druzy. It's pretty though. <laughs> it's like, not druzy, like faux opal. Pardon me. I don't know if you could see the coloring. It's has a lot of fire to it, which you can't see from my lighting. This one's new. I'm going to do this for $4. And I don't know if you guys, okay, if I get a little closer, you can see. Girl, what are you doing? Lucky just like ran around the whole kitchen. <laughs> it's $4. It's nicely made. Um, it's like a Charming Charlie, so the underside is stainless steel and gold tone, and then this is like gold tone. Um, yeah, and it's for if anyone's interested. I don't know if you could see the fire. It's pretty, but it's just a fashion piece. Okay, and it does have an extender. I know, what a... Statement piece. Look it on like a darker color. I know you can't see it, but it has a lot of, it looks like opal. It's crazy. What, it, what? My mom passed when I was 17. It doesn't get easier over time. I miss her as much today as I did then. Oh, I know, Cricket. I know. I'm going to be a mess when my dad passes away. I already know that. I'm just going to be one big fat mess. Cricket, I'm going to add this to your um, your jar because I said I was going to add something. And I just realized, so i got to fix. There's this little jump ring came loose right here. I'll fix that. But I'm going to add that to your jar. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to put it in a bag. I don't want it to get... Mm, here we go. I'll put it in here. Okay. No problem. I said I was going to put a little something in there. I think that was pretty too. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Let's see. I do have a Howlite piece here. That, oh, yeah, I can't. Okay. I got some things I'd like to show you guys. All right. So this is Howlite. What did I write on here? Um, with Austrian Crystal. It's set in stainless steel, but the necklace is silver tone. It's 18 to 20 inch. And it's 50 carats of um, how light. And it's a, a little, it's a modern twist on a native bear claw. Let me make it smaller. Hold on. 
Daisy, I swear, every time you come on, I'm probably crying. I swear I don't cry every time. <laughs> I promise I don't. <laughs> Well, I think because they're short staffed um, in in his department, and um, they were just giving him a guilt trip, you know, Ugh, so sad. I mean, and, and unfortunately, his dad lives in another country. So this is fifty carats, um, and there are some Austrian crystals up here in the rosettes and it has an extender um this one's going to be 15. it's set in stainless steel it's a fashion piece but it's really pretty it's a very thick bear claw so it's like a modern twist of a native piece it's brand new um so it has these links and then these rosettes, which have Austrian crystals in them. There's, I think, five, I think, on each. And then it's a double strand. Um, does have a little extender. And this one's 15, if anyone's interested. It's really pretty, actually. I really like it. What, baby? Why you cry? Well, come here, baby. Come here, babysito. Come on, baby. Come here. What happened? Why are you crying? Why are you crying, baby? What's my baby crying for? Oh, my, oh, oh, baby has stinky breath. Oh, my. <laughs> why, why are you crying? Don't cry, baby. I love you. I love my baby. Because I'm not holding you? Is that what it is? Okay, so we're going to pass on this one. Okay, let's see. Oop, hold on, buddy. Just come right here. There you go. Okay, the next one is... Oh, sorry, you guys. My I get so stuffed up when I cry. I know. Hey, look at it. Say hello to Martha. Say hello, Martha. Hello. Say hello. Say hello, baby. Say hello, baby. Say hello. Why are you so tired all the time? Huh? Where's Gary? Gary. Go get Gary. <laughs> My baby. Okay. This next one is a fashion piece. Um, it is in, hold on. It is in, the necklace is silver tone, but the, um, the what's it called? The uh, setting is stainless and it's howlite and it's like a shield, you know, bib shield where it's articulated. So this part is in stainless. So how each move, piece moves, but you have three pieces. So a big piece and then the two side pieces. I know, I know, Francis. And then the earrings. <laughs> So this set is going to be, um, let's do it for $6 if anyone's interested. And it's Howlite stainless steel. And then the chain part is silver tone. <laughs> oh, buddy. He's, he cries when I don't pet him constantly. Well, baby, why you cry? Why you cry? I'm right here. I'm right here. Um, Six dollars on this one. It's brand new. Don't cry, baby. I love you too much. Don't cry. 
Don't cry. Can you hear him whining? Okay, so that one's six. Look at him. Baby, why you cry, baby? What, what happened? Why you have to cry so much, huh, baby? Why you cry? What, what happened? Hmm? This baby is spoiled. That's what happened. <laughs> Little Minnie Mouse is upstairs. <laughs> I love you. I won't kiss you on your mouth. But I pretend, okay? Because that's gross. I love you. All right. Uh, let's see. All of her son offer personnel time off for family emergencies up to two weeks. Unfortunately, our law enforcement or short staff make impossible to take that time unless you have ten yeah, he doesn't have tenure. Oh. What happened? Where'd you go? Do you have to you have to go outside? Wanna go outside? Wanna go? Wanna go outside? What happened? <laughs> I love my baby. Okay, so I want this to go to a good home. So we're going to do this one for 10, the 50 carats of How Light and the Austrian Crystal. And it's um, this part is stainless, and then these parts, and then this is um, silver tone, and then the rosettes are stainless, and then this is silver tone, and that's going to be 10. <laughs> Excuse me. Get down, baby. Babycito, get down. Okay, thank you, Gianna. Thank you. It's so pretty, huh? Okay. Let's put that in here. And it has Austrian crystals. Let me write that down. Oopsie. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> A newbie. Let's see. Gianna. Um, 10. That's how light. Stainless. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. This one is going to be five. I originally was asking six. Let's do five. It's also how light. And this, the shields are stainless steel. That's a big piece. And then the chain is silver tone. And then you have matching earrings. So we'll do five on this one. Let's see, we hear you. I declared I love him. He says, I am styling and profiling for all my fans. <laughs> ah, that's funny, Martha. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank you, Gianna. Thank you so much. Okay. Put these. Let's see. No, that's not. Only one. All right, so we're going to call this one... Um, halite stainless bib silver tone necklace with earrings. Okay, thank you so much. Let's see. Um, I thought this was in a bag. Oh, we'll grab a bag. Oh, is that the? I think that's the one I dropped. Okay. So we do this one.
Thank you so much. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've been on four hours, you guys. Holy Toledo. I can't believe it. It doesn't feel like four hours. <laughs> It does. It has a little Egyptian flair to it, huh? I agree. Okay, this is a, a vintage piece. Um, it's silver. Oops. And I can't remember if it's marked. No. And it is um, like a, a rough of a turquoise piece with um, really nice. It's a bi-split band, and it is a size... Five and three, hmm, five and three quarters. Um, it's a bi split band. Let me shine it up real quick. And it's turquoise. I'm just cleaning it. Oh, that's coming out nicely. There we go. Well, I'm cleaning it the best I can. Five and was it five and three quarters or six and three quarters? Five and three quarters, I think. Um, So it has a bi-split band. <clears throat> now, this one, it is an interesting piece, actually. Hold on, I'm trying to clean it a little bit more on the inside. Okay, oh, well, that's good for now. Um, it's a really pretty ring, five and three quarters. And this one's gonna be 25, if anyone's interested. Good night, Gianna. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Oh, Lynn, diamond painting. I've been wanting to try that, actually. I hear it's really nice, really fun. So 25 on that one. Okay. One there. All right, this next one, where'd it go? Uh, oh, here it is. So this next one is stainless steel. And um, it is a size. Four and three quarters. Yeah, four and three quarters. Um, it has a piece of howlite in it. It's a knuckle ring, but it has nice etching in it. Looks like a native ring. And this one's going to be 15 if anyone's interested. It's stainless steel with howlite. I don't know if you can see that chunk of highlight there. It's got etching in it. It's a knuckle ring. It's too small for me. It fits my pinky. Isn't that nice? I like it actually. And it's 15. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a nice little knuckle ring. 
We'll do it like that. It is new. It has the um, how stainless when they make new rings sometimes because of the etching they do oxidation. So you see the oxidation underneath, but that's what that is because they oxidize the etching in there. Let's do this one for 10. Actually, I'm changing my mind. Let's do it for 10 because I want to sell it to someone who can wear it. I'd really like it, but it doesn't even fit my pinky very well. And I don't want to keep trying. It's depressing to me. <laughs> but I do like it a lot. It's just, I love knuckle rings. It's just this one's too small. So maybe if you have like a smaller hand... This knuckle ring might fit you. It's a nice chunk of howlite, too. Okay, so that one's Tim. I'm going to wear it until we get off here. Who bought the first jar from me? Uh, da 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 da. Oh, Becky did. Okay. I was just, I couldn't remember. I don't know if Becky's still in here. All right, here's a new little piece. Um, actually, I'm going to put this, you know what? I'm going to put this in Becky's jar. This will be a new piece for her. I'm just going to add to her jar. Isn't that pretty? We're just going to add it to her jar. Where is, here we go. Let's put it in this bag. Okay. All right, so I have some more silver. Um, I have some rings. Do you guys want to see rings? You know what, I didn't even show you guys any rings yet. Other than the heart ring and the knuckle ring, huh? Okay, so let me show the silver rings. Let me grab it. Grab them. Where did I put them? <laughs> Is this it? Oh, here we go. Oh, I wanted to show you guys these too. Okay. So let me show you these. This. This. That, 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 ooh, I forgot about this, yes, sometimes I forget, oh, and that, okay, so I have quite a few little silver rings here. All right, let me finish some of my avocado from earlier, because this one's from Mexico. Yummy. Little avocado. Mmm, I don't know, avocados are so addicting to me. Okay, mmm. So good. Okay, so we'll, we'll do some rings. I'm going to do some good prices on these rings. And let me show you this vintage set too. So okay, I did show this on the other night, but I'm going to show it again. <laughs> I forgot that I showed it actually until just now. It is a seven and one quarter, almost a seven and a half. Um, it's a vintage native ring. It fits like an eight though, to be honest. Um, it's a bear paw with turquoise in it. And it has, it's a Navajo ring. And has a bi split band. And it's by RB. That's the artisan, the native that made it. I think it's 
see right there, RB, he's a uh, quite the popular designer. We're gonna do this one for 50. 50, let's do 50. Cause I remember my dad, dad and I talked about this. This one, we'll do this one for 50. It fits like an eight, but it's like a seven and a half. And it is by RB. And it is a bear paw. It's a nice size. It's quite nice on your finger, the size. A lot of work on that one. Okay. Oop. This one is a simple onyx ring, sterling silver. It's vintage. It is a size six and three quarters. And has some nice work on it's inlaid. We're gonna do this one for 22. I know it's a weird number, but I like it. It has the actual cutouts on the side. On the, can you see that? See the cutouts? So this one's 22. Thank you. Oh, really? If you're allergic to latex. Interesting, because my friend is allergic. She says her mouth will get itchy, especially her tongue and her throat. <laughs> and But not when it's made into guacamole. It's less itchy to her. Isn't that funny? I want to ask her now if she's allergic to latex. Twenty two on that one. Okay, this one is this is more of an antique ring. It has beautiful filigree work and then it has um, peridot, topaz, and okay, that's it. So topaz on each side and then the peridot in the middle. Oh, I love this style. This is like I said, filigree is one of my favorite. So you see the peridot in the middle and then the blue topaz on each side. Isn't that beautiful? Almost looks like a bridge, doesn't it? Really? I want to ask her now because <laughs> she's the only person I know that's allergic to um, avocados. I'm like, what? Because <laughs> I always say, she asked me, what are you eating? And I say, I always tell her it's toast with avocado in the morning. And this one, I have reduced it to, hmm, I was going to say 50-something, but we're going to say 48. I know it's weird numbers, but 48. Nope. And what size was this? I forgot. It's a five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Forty-eight dollars. But it's really if it fit me, I, I actually really love this style of ring. It's like the 1930s. Yeah, isn't that pretty? The stones are beautiful. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. Look at the side. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Let me show you these two. These are smaller, not smaller as in size, but um, smaller as in stature, I guess. 
So let me show this one too. So I showed you one of the onyx rings. I'm going to show you this other one. It's so pretty. It's also inlaid and it's very modern looking. Uh, it's a size seven. We're going to do 30 on that one. Here's the other onyx one I showed you. That's the other one. But see how it sits high? Isn't that pretty? Very modern. And it's a size seven, the bigger one. I know I keep moving it, sorry. Okay, so those are the, oops, two onyx ones I have. And then um, let me show, well, actually this is onyx too. So one more onyx, what the heck? Now this is a very ornate ring. It's a size seven. Now this is gorgeous and it is sterling. Just trying to find a maker's mark. Size seven, so it has the chunkier oxidized braiding on the side. So I'm gonna say 35 on this one, 30 on the other mo more modern one. But they're both substantial. And then that smaller one. Okay, next one. Oh, these two, yes, I wanna show these two. Okay, so this one is a size five and three quarters. It is a Navajo ring. Um, I believe it's Sleeping Beauty, turquoise. Five and three quarters. But look at the band. The band is really beautiful. Um, it's like a band that they put, whoever made it, put the leaf over on the top of the band. I mean, you could see the veining. So you see the band and then you see the leafing going over it. Really beautiful work all the way around. That's very, very unusual. It is sterling, it's also a native piece. Um, what did I say, size? Five and three quarters. This one's gonna be 35 because it is Sleeping Beauty and then also the band. I believe it's Navajo, but my dad and I both weren't certain. It's really beautiful though. Okay, and then this one I wanna show you guys. It's a size seven and almost seven and three quarters. And it's, oop, a Peruvian opal. This is vintage also, seven and three quarters. I'm gonna put it right here. Thank you. So this is a Peruvian opal, the pink one. Uh, let me take, let's see. Oh, that's, I forgot, that's the pinky that I hurt, so it's kind of swollen still. Let me take these off, and we'll put it right here. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I know, huh? <laughs> I'd keep it too, actually. So this is a Peruvian pink opal inlaid, 
It's also a native piece. See how it has like a little lip on each side? I love that. And Peruvian pink opals are pricey, guys, especially that this is a vintage ring. Um, this one's going to be 35 also because it is Peruvian um, opal. So it's Native American in South America. But they brought the stones up here too. So it could be, very well could be like North American Native, but... Oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like that too. Okay, so that's that one. And I've shown those before. I'm going to show you this slider. Yeah. <clears throat> this is peridot and magnesium. It's a slider that goes on your necklace, kind of like, um, well, I don't think it's going to fit on this one, but kind of like one of these kind of sliders. Or you can put it on a regular necklace too, but see how it slides. It's meant for like one of those type of necklaces, or, you know, you can put it on a regular chain. But it's called a slider. Like that. Um, it's magnesium on the top part and it's peridot on the bottom and sterling. And I'm going to sell this one for 20. I had it for more, but it's going to go for 20 now. Let's see. Um, my daughter has a Peruvian opal ring with tourmaline. I like tourmaline, too. That's actually a beautiful stone. My dad likes it, too. Peruvian pink is just unusual, you know? Okay, 20. I think this one was Hallmark. I can't remember. It's in here. I just can't read it. Um, this one says, oh gosh, I can't read that. I know it says 925, but it says something next to it and I can't read it on the inside lip. Uh, could I buy the one before? Hi, Jeannie. Oh my gosh. I haven't, Jeannie, you're on here. Jeannie, I wanted to ask you, I was hoping you'd come on because I think you wanted the pearls. So let me ask you about the pearls. Which ring are you talking about, uh, Jeannie? Are you talking about the Peruvian pink? I the one before. I think this is the one I showed before. Let's see. Okay, let me know. All right, what else? Oh, yes, let me show you this one. So this is a tiger's eye. This is a vintage ring. Okay, so Jeannie, you want the Peruvian pink. Um, let me write that down. And then I'm going to show you the pearls because I know you asked about them in one of my videos. Jeannie? Uh, vintage... Thank you. Pink. Okay, <clears throat> so that's Genie's. Let me put it in a bag. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Um, oh, I do have one more. <laughs> I have one more op um, 
Oh, wait. No, no, no. I want to show this one. This is a tiger's eye. It's a vintage ring. Um, this one, I think it's Navajo. My dad thought it was Navajo, too. It has the typical um, uh, leaf on it and then the twisted braiding and then the sawtooth um, bezel. It's so pretty. Look at it. And it's kind of three-dimensional. Isn't that pretty? So you see the leaf. Now, guys, I don't know if you're aware, but when you make a leaf like this, you have to pour the casting or carve it to make it. It takes a long time to make, to carve it, or, you know, mold it. You can do it with um, clay, or you can carve it out of wax. Okay, then it has the sawtooth around the tiger's eye. Isn't that pretty? Um, and it's sterling, and let me see what size. What pearl? You had asked about pearls on one of my videos, and I said I would look for it. And so I think this is what you were talking about. I'll show them in one second. So it's five and three quarters to, it's like, like a six. I would say this is a six. Close, very close to a six. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to do um, 45 on this one. And that's a really good deal, guys. When you see these leaves, it's a lot of work. And then everything, as you can see, is added on top of the base. So it's kind of three-dimensional. Isn't that pretty? Sorry, I'm moving so fast. And that's vintage also. Okay. So I don't know if you are interested or not, Jeannie, but um, I'm going to show you the pearls. These were $8. Um, the one is, they're both freshwater pearls. And one is like a lilac color. And I said earlier that it was cream, but it's actually a pale pink. But they're $8 each. I don't know if you can see the color, but they're stretchy. And one is lilac, and then the lighter one is like a pale, pale pink. But I don't know if you can see that from my lighting. My lighting is kind of bad. It drowns out the color. But they're $8 each if you are interested. $8. Okay, did you want um, the lilac one or the pale pink one, or do you want both? The pale pink one is a little bit bigger, as you can see, than the lilac. I guess let me know on that. Okay, next thing... Um, now, these are brand new clip earrings. They look like sterling, but they're not. They're brand new, though. And you can convert them, but I just think these are awesome. I believe they're stainless. They are marked, too. Both. Okay. Thank you, Jeannie. Um, so I'm going to just write lilac and pale pink. Fresh water pearl bracelets. 16. Okay, thank you so much. I'm going to put these over here. <laughs> um, I think these are a brand. They are stainless. And I can't remember who they're by. Hold on. Let me look. I can't read it. My eyes are terrible, you guys. They're getting worse. Oh, I can't read that. They are by somebody, but I can't read it. It's like two names. 
Oh, wait, maybe I'm doing it upside down. Wow, I can't read it. But it's written on this part right here. Anyways, um, they are gorgeous clip earrings. They look like silver, but they are um, stainless. Look how beautiful they are. They kind of look like native earrings. And they're new on the card. They're clip, and they are by somebody, and I just can't read it. These are five, if anyone's interested. Isn't that pretty? Five dollars. If you know anyone that wears clip and they're new so it's kind of nice but they're vintage <laughs> yeah I I could tell it was upside down but I still couldn't read it okay so I see I showed you those okay I think I have one more ring I want to show you guys and then a vintage pendant earring set this is marcasite Onyx, um, can't read what it says in there. It's faceted onyx, but I can't read what the maker's mark says. I just can't read it. It's too tiny. My eyes are so bad. This is, I think, a size six and three quarters. It's Marcosite faceted onyx. Isn't that pretty? It's a chunkier ring. And this one's 35, if anyone's interested. Six and three quarters. So I have, I guess, a few onyx rings, huh? Let me, I'm gonna put them on. <laughs> So these are all onyx, which I kind of didn't realize that I had a few onyx. And I think I have one more onyx. Yeah. Oh, it's this one. Hold on. And I think that's the last of my onyx. I think this is a native ring, and my dad thought the same. Now, this one's really gorgeous. Hold on. Um, it is stamped, but not Hallmark. It reminds me of a spoon ring. And that one is going to be 30 on that one. That's vintage and it's beautiful. <laughs> I really like that one. Long necklaces. Yes, I do. Um, wow, I didn't realize how many onyx rings I had. Okay, let me put these back in here. And let me dig at my long necklaces. I have one, Jeannie, you might like. Um, I thought of you because you did mention long necklaces. And I thought, and I don't think I've showed it in a while. Oop. Okay, let me show this one piece, one more piece of um, abalone. It's vintage. I think this is Tasco. I don't have a necklace to put through it, but I will. Um, let's see. So this is a very old set, and I believe it's 800 sterling, or silver. Um, it's marked KC on it. This is a pendant, an abalone. 
and okay that's the pendant and then the earrings the earrings are marked what they say I think just 925 yeah 925 on both But they, to me, I mean, they don't have to go as a set because they kind of, to me, don't look like a set. These are squared. And these are vintage abalone and silver. And see how this is an oval teardrop. So I'm going to sell them separately. That way, if someone wants one versus the other. This is Hallmarked. <laughs> And it's 800 but this is sterling, so they probably weren't a set. I think I just have put them in a bag together. So these little earrings that are marked 925 on the back, they're nice thick pieces of silver and abalone. Let me show you the back. 925, that's the front. And they're pretty thick though. So let me show you how they look up. Oop. Look at this. It's a nice size. They're not huge, but I like that. They're simple. So these earrings are gonna be they're vintage. These are gonna be 20. And then this necklace pendant piece, um, it's 800 with the abalone, it's marked KC. I'm gonna say 25 on this one. I think KC is um, one of the earlier apprentices from Tasco, but I'm not sure because it's, 800 so it's very thick though very thick silver oh and it has more writing in here i think no no i don't think so let me double check no anyways i like the small one Which um, small one, do you mean? Are you talking about the earrings? And these are going to be 20. All right, so I'm going to put these aside. Um, if anyone changes their mind, let me know. Yeah, I'm not going to keep these together because I don't think they are together. Yes. So the small abalone earrings. Okay, thank you. Let me put them in here. Thank you so much. They're beautiful. Oops. So Jeannie, abalone Sterling earrings. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm going to show you a necklace. Uh, Jeannie, you might like. I showed it earlier. It's freshwater potato um, pearls, and then it's a 16-inch. Sorry, I think I have a fuzz on my face right here. <laughs> and then it has sterling silver clasp. So you just pull it apart and then you unhook it. It's marked 925. You put it back together, push it in. It's pretty thick silver. This one's 20. It's 18 or sorry, 16 inch potato pearl. And it's silver, vintage.
And then that's the silver. Okay, 20 on that one. I meant to show you that one too. Okay, let me show some long necklaces too. Because I haven't showed you guys everything, if you can believe that. I don't, it's like sometimes I, I end up accumulating so much stuff and I don't know how that happens. I do have some more brooches. Okay. Sorry, I'm going through my stuff. Oh, I want to show you guys this. And I'll show that and that. this one first. Sorry guys, I'm like, <laughs> I forget sometimes what, I, oh, I forgot I want to keep this one. Oh, I don't think it fits me though. Boy, do I love it. Hold on, if it fits me, I'm keeping it. I forgot to put it aside, but if it doesn't fit me, I think I'm still going to keep, oh, it's too small. Darn it. Love it. <laughs> I'll show you guys. Okay, here's one long necklace. Um, it is, this is not as long as I was thinking, but there is other longer necklaces that I have too. This has rose quartz in it, and I'm not sure if they're real pearl. I don't think they are. I'm, I'm almost certain it's not real pearl. But it is real rose quartz, and then these are little garnets in here. Let me show you. Let me measure it first. Let's see. It is... So it is... 26 inches in length. And I think these are faux pearl. And then it has the real rose quartz and the little garnet beads. I'm certain it is. I mean, it's heavy, so it could be real pearl, but... <clears throat> To be honest, it's really hard for me to tell real pearl when they aren't freshwater. And they look like it. You know how the drill holes and everything? Um, you can usually tell by the drill holes. And it's got a toggle. So I'm going to say on this one, because I don't know if these are pearls, but if they are, then it's to your benefit. I'm going to say $5 on this one, but it has the rose quartz and then the um, garnet above and below, if you'd like it. And it's 26 inches in length. So it goes quartz, rose quartz, rose quartz. There's one, four, five, six, seven rose quartz and two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen garnet um, beads. So five dollars. You like this one? Okay. Thank you, Jeannie. Write that down.
Okay, thank you so much. Let me grab a bag for it. Uh, put it in here. Okay. Okay, I have this really pretty um, bracelet. It's a clamper bracelet. And it is howlite and um, carved, hand carved howlite and then hand carved um, tiger's eye. Isn't that pretty? It's a clamper bracelet. <clears throat> this one is stainless steel with like a gold tone over it. And I'm just trying to see if there's a maker's mark on it. I don't think there was. But it's so pretty. Thank you. Thanks, guys. It's a fashion piece, but it's a beautiful, big, thick piece of um, carved tiger's eye and howlite. I mean, you can see how thick they are from underneath. They're pretty thick. Oh, wait, is that a maker's mark? No. So it has that hammered look. This is too small or else I'd keep it. <laughs> it's too small for me. <clears throat> it just fits at the very top here. Um... So if you have a smaller wrist, it'd be great. It's a little tight on me, but I love it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like this one. This one's going to be, um, let's do it for $7 if anyone is interested. And it's got a big chunk. It's new. of Tiger's Eye and Howlite. It's in stainless steel. And gold tone over it. Yeah, I know. It's got that south modern, like, southwestern, right? Okay, thank you, Lynn. Thank you. It's very, it's my style, too, but it's too small. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put, let's see, tigers. I highlight. Thank you so much. That is really pretty. Let me get a bag. Uh-oh. Did I just dump all those bags? Oh, no. <laughs> I hate when I dump all the bags out. Shoot. Oh, well. Thank you. Okay. This one is... Um, now, this one's really cool. It's just fashion, but um, it is like brass beads. These little beads are expensive, and I think the cross is stainless, yeah. So it's brand new. Yeah, so it is real tiger's eye and um, halite, teardrop, um, hand-carved. They're chunky, too. Very nice. So good buy. So the cross, is this called a Moorish? I think it's called a Moorish cross. And it's got the little um, faux rhinestones on it. And then it has all these beautiful metal and brass beads that are made to look, you know, antiqued. And it's a stretchy bracelet. See, so look at these beads. Aren't they pretty? I like these right here, these big chunky ones. And I like these. Well, I like those and then these on top here. I'm gonna, this is brand new. I'm going to say $5 if anyone's interested. It's made to look antique, but it's new. And it is stretchy. Okay, we're going to move on from that one. Um, um, Jeannie, did you want the pearl necklace? Were you saying yes to the pearl necklace? 
the one for 20 with the silver on it. No, I don't think you were. You wanted the faux one with the, or could have been real, with the garnets and the rose quartz. Okay, I just, okay, I'm going to put these over here. Um, okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to have to go to bed. <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> I've been on here almost five hours. I just realized that. Oh, my gosh. What time is it? It's 1241. <sighs> That's late. I need to drink some more water. I'm getting parched, and I'm all out of water. <laughs> um, thank you, guys, for stopping in and hanging out with me. You know, I love to hang out with you all. Um on Saturday nights, and I know I haven't been around as much, but I think I was last Saturday, wasn't I? I just haven't been coming on as much as I had because um, I've had a lot going on, you know. Um, but um, oh, thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I, I'm going to be doing on my main channel for decor which is just creative Lori. I'm going to be showing my Valentine decor in the kitchen and my mantle and the entryway. And what else? Oh, probably my coffee cart because, um, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but then I started unpacking it all and it's so cute and it's so like festive that I can't help it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that and, Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Um, I am tired. <laughs> and I'll be showing that on my main channel. And then I'm going to do a live on my main channel. I need to do a tag video that Pat tagged me in. So I need to do that. I still need to do all of that. So... Look for those videos coming on my main decor channel. Hopefully, you guys will watch them. And thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Oh, my gosh, 342. Oh, Daisy. And it's 342 for um, uh, Frances also. She's in um, Canada. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you, you guys. I appreciate it. I'll do invoices tomorrow. Look at all my gray hair. It looks like blonde. Well, it kind of looks like blonde because uh, when I colored it. <laughs> but they look like blonde streaks, but they're white. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And here's my baby. So thank you, guys. Me and the puppy say good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, baby, oh, baby, 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 baby. The baby, baby, baby. Oh, oh, so tired. Baby is tired. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow on uh, Jennifer's auction. I, I'm going to be around, I believe, so I should be there. So, guys, have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> yes, kisses, kisses, kisses for my baby. Don't pretend you don't want my kisses. <laughs> Good night, guys. Bye. Baby, why are you? Why? You deny my kisses? Mm -hmm. I love you. Bye, guys. <laughs> God bless you, too. Daisy, I'm going to email you. Sorry. I miss talking to you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Say goodnight, baby. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Uh, he's cold.